just got the gas distracted me with pure rage. <laughs> oh, yes, I remember rage. now. I was doing some random Googling the other day, and I was curious about the voice actor for Goku to see, like, the English voice actor to see who else they voiced. Mm -hmm. Um, they voiced Black Doob in Shadow the Hedgehog. And I was like, oh. <laughs> wow, that is, uh, Black Goku, Black Goku was canon. Yep. Also, Kairop, thank you for the sub. And welcome in. Very streaming already, I didn't realize. Y yeah, I, I was on the starting screen. And the initial I... Boruto okay. movie was good, but it should have ended there. Sure, you're correct. You watch the movies? This is no more D&D. &D. This There's... is now a uh, shit-talking anime stream. Yeah. Yeah, welcome Pretty to much. the podcast. The Ferris Anime Podcast. I'm about to make some people mad. What? Go for it. I, I genuinely liked the movies. I have seen all of The Legend of Korra, but I have not seen anything but random episodes from uh, The Last Airbender. Mm -hmm. Lock her yep. away. So that's the end of the campaign. Thank you for coming, everyone. I hope you enjoy. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> OMG. I, I, I legit had my hand, both my. I double face palmed when I knew what you were going to say. In my both defense. My when I was told about The Legend of Korra, I was not told it was a sequel, okay? <laughs> and my friend was like, you need to watch this. And I was under the impression it was an in its entire, like, own thing. So I watched the entirety of it, fell in love with it, and then was told it was a sequel. Okay. You liked Korra, you'll probably like the first one. Oh yeah, for sure. I, I liked Korra, and I watched the first one first. <laughs> I didn't watch yeah, all a lot of Korra. Of people not knowing Dragon Ball is a thing. Like a yeah, original. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> also, King Dad, congratulations on first. Uh, I watched all of Dragon Ball recently. It was okay. I, I think. Go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. I was just going to say, I've only seen one episode of Dragon Ball, and that's the one that comes with Raging Blast 2. Which isn't even canon. Okay. That's it. The only... Dragon Ball as a series. Overrated. Couldn't have been. Fair. Karen, congratulations on second. That's why you like One Piece. What the fuck? I will. Fuck you. <laughs> I'll show you You don't One have piece. any taste. What do you mean I don't have any taste? Dragon Ball's all style, no substance. Well, Dragon Ball Z and onward, I would say. But from what I hear about Dragon Ball, that's not the case. Well, yeah, yes, but okay. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball just has a lot of like down moments, and it's just like, ugh, mm -hmm. this taking too long. Mostly early on in one of their early arcs, it was like, please stop, this is too much. Too much of too nothing. Though still, I love how people, how um, passionate people get about their um, favorite shonens. Yeah. You better like mine or I hate you. This is why I don't watch shonens. Me and Bleach. Right. <laughs> I love Bleach. And, and then there's me who has watched so good. and is watching everything under the moon. I haven't seen that one. I haven't seen everything under the moon. <laughs> that sounds like it could be a show. No, that's the sad part. It does. <laughs> I was about to say, that's like a legit anime title. <laughs> right? That, that is definitely laugh. like a slice of life anime. And I would watch that. I'm a slice of life. Right. It sounds great. Yeah. Fired. Yeah. Yeah. I found myself saying that in IRL more often. That 
That's right. I say it in real IRL. In real, in real life? Yep. I know. I'm cringy as F. So anyways, what do y'all say we get started with the second session of Adventures in Ferris? Do you like One Piece? So last time on Adventures in Ferris, the party... Before we go too far down this rabbit hole. Hmm? Yes. Well, yeah, we should also do like introductions for everyone again. So hi, I'm Sammy, and this is Friends. Okay, we're good. Let's go. <laughs> How much is that I, tie in the window? I am a bad streamer, man. Now, correction. How much is that canine American in the window? No? Okay. I'll just sit in my reference corner by myself. I, I, I recognize it, but I can't tell from what. Oh my god. This is painful. Hold on. I want to change my reactive image. Kyrop, congratulations oh, on Threef. Threef. I forgot about Threef. Everyone forgets about Threef. And also hydrate. Everyone drink. And stretch. I, okay, I'll get up. I almost knocked my drink off my desk. It's fine. Don't do it. No. Okay, have a good look, higher up. I gotta organize my files better. It's probably this one that says reactive. Also, Mordred, I'm still waiting on um, what you were gonna say. She said fork. She, I'm sorry? She, no, she wasn't trying to say anything. She was saying, before we go down this rabbit hole, let's do the introductions. I believe is what she was trying to say. Oh. Well, either way, yeah, we should. So who would like to go first? Or should we go left from right? Left to right. Left to right makes sense. All right. Then, Koda, you can go ahead and start. Mm. How much of an intro do you need? Do you need a, a Rin intro or a me intro? It's a you intro. Or you can, yeah, you can introduce Rin as well. Just like, okay. emphasize who you play. Both. Okay, no, Hi. Guys. Oh, I say I'm basically two D&D &D characters. I'm Coda, the uh, Elf of Ancients Paladin of Lathander, playing Rin, um, Fey, Bard. Okay. That's all I got. Karen? I'm, oh, hi, I'm Karen. And I play Karis. <laughs> well, God, what am I again? Druid. That That's a thing. Eric Hocker. Eric Hocker, Druid. I almost said cleric. Oh, the roast chicken. A level it's one Eric Hocker, Druid, cleric. Cleric. Yeah, it somehow got cleric in there too. You know what? You know, give it one more level, you could throw a cleric in there. That's true. There actually is an option to um, play as two classes at once. I would rather not. It, it gets complicated, but that's for like higher level like D and D. And I'm not ready for that. <laughs> All right, next up is the one who's click clapping on her keyboard. My name is Dusk. I am a VTuber, and I am currently playing a Eladrin Rogue. Yeah. Dacto. She, sound, she sounds EP. I am also EP. All of us are EP. I am the Dacto, the Pixel Dacto, who is very EP. 
I play a very hungry little boy. And by that I mean a, a, a kobold who is a barbarian and just wants to cook and share his food with peoples. He's and not very good at it, though. And apparently trying to eat K, I swear to fucking Christ. Well, if you stop looking like a roast chicken, you'll, you know, he won't eat I am it. not a roast chicken! He just wants to, he just wants a bite. He'll try it once and then we'll leave you alone. Oh, uh, yes, I'm sure he'll leave her, them alone. If he doesn't like the taste. Anyway, yeah, that is the me. No, I got your name wrong. I also changed my reactive, so there we go. Now I fit in with everyone. Yeah, there's there's no underscore in my uh, Twitch one. Got it. Not. D thank you, Marjid. Speaking of which, mm. Marjid. not. Would you hmm. also like to nut? <laughs> I think it's asshole in that. Well, she just nutted in my ear, so. Oh. Wow. I know. Wow. Nut. It, th thank you, King Dad, for nutting in my ear. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> right? I expected the session to be going, but all right. Neither did. Who? What? Someone throwing punches. I'm gonna fucking conclude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who's doing that? <sighs> ah. But yeah. Oh god. <laughs> I tried loading something up to. Work on my dead put the bit. Things are breaking. Hello, I'm Mordred, your local Katsune playing a variant human rogue. And I am Sammy, your hostess and cat girl VTuber. And I am your GM for the day. Or as someone once called me, God Mommy. What? 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 What did they call you? God Mommy. Oh, okay. You yeah. Skip that on the easy just DM joke. <laughs> Direct message? Oh, no. Never mind. You can tell me later. <laughs> I got a Kota, don't worry, I get it. But anyways, yes, this is the second episode of Adventures in Ferris. Um, if you missed it last week, you can still catch the bot here for a little while. But it's also available on my YouTube, which um, I have never linked to because I never posted anything publicly there. But now it's available. And uh, I don't have a link to it. I'll post it later. But yeah. Welcome in. Now, does anyone remember what happened last session? Or would you like me to recap? Uh, we exploded a lot. A little bit? I did great. Picked up a I man in a barrel. <laughs> These People are assholes. These are all things that happened. I almost died. Nice. Two people almost died. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But the party made... Um, the party all individually made their ways into... Uh, Carol Village, uh, and some of them met up and talked to each other, while others were busy doing their day jobs and the like. Thank you, Dusk. 
and um, after a minute of just hanging out or talking, they they all um, collectively saw some a fire in a distance, and they all went to investigate. Eventually, being tasked with going inside and saving everyone, at least everyone they could. And when they escaped, they learned of um, the priest, Father Jacques, um, being murdered. And that's where we left off. Rock in peace, the homie. With Brother Falling John telling you that he's that he's found his body. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't get paid. Can can I eat him? Yeah, you should uh, eat him. Uh, no. Why? Yes. Why would you eat Father Jacques? Just eat, well, just easy decomposition. If we don't want him to go to waste. Now, now, hold on here. Uh, I don't think that'll be very much of a good idea. Um, I, I'd very much rather we give him his proper burial rights. Uh, also, uh, I'd hate to ask more of you, uh, because y'all have already done so much, but, uh, would it be possible if I were able to ask you to, uh, head over to the church with Brother John here and... Go ahead and I do some sort of investigation, or just make sure no one's around. I, I'd rather just make sure the the rest of the church is safe as much as possible. Please, I I'll, I'll make sure y'all get paid extra. I I I would go myself, but my assistance is still needed here. Yeah, yeah. You also left your gear here. Come on, everyone. My gear is over back in. Uh, never mind. <laughs> I, I mean, it's not too much trouble for me, but I'll only do it if I can eat him. Just take the body. What if as I long bought... as it's not me. What if I bought you a ham hog later? We call it even. I don't know what this ham hog is. I will accept this as I have not tried it before. Perfect. His bonus pay is a ham hog. Uh, right. I'll get back to y'all as soon as I get done here. Please, I appreciate anything y'all can do. And Paladin Dance goes back to assisting all the injured individuals who are still coughing up, some still injured. A lot of them bandaged up, but only one guy can only do so much at a time. So, what do y'all do? I guess I'll start heading on over there, and if anyone a, else wants to follow. I made a deal that if I did this, he'd give me some food I've never tried before, so I must go. Cam. Yeah. Um, Brother Jock will actually be uh, greeting you all on the way there, um, very nervously and very timid and... Honestly, just appearing as though he he's going through shock. And eventually, after a while, you all come back to the humble appearance of the church that Alina and Nuk no, no, uh, Nukde and Akdad uh, were in charge of taking care of before other matters made themselves known. And you get um, a very somber mood and atmosphere. Um, well, what would you all like to do? I stay quiet. Would I happen to see any kind of like criminal contact around here? Um. Someone not, I know. Not specifically, 
uh, you are literally just like you've been in this town this town ten minutes if not at most. So you haven't been able to really see anyone besides the immediate party around you and a couple onlookers from the group that you attracted earlier. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Brother John, after opening the doors for all of you, is actually just sit, uh, standing against the wall, um, just keeping to himself, very quiet, rocking himself back and forth a little bit, just blankly. Um, if you listen, you can hear him make um, whispered prayers. Um, and you just get this empty feeling from the whole church. And if you all look and looking around, you all notice it's just your average church, a stage, a stand, a bunch of pews to sit in. Honestly, besides the exterior, it's like any other church, just a lot more humble. And in the back, on one side of the stage, you see a door that's flung wide open and um, the light of the sun just coming through a little brighter than the rest. I would like to go. So, is there. Uh, just remind me because I'm in a business part. Was there anyone visibly in the church that we could see currently? No. The only person besides the rest of you is Brother John, and he's not mentally there. I go towards the open door in search of food. Okay. Um, before that... I'm sniffing about. Would anyone else also like to do anything? I'm just gonna walk around and look. Just, just take a... Just look around. That's it. Okay. Yeah, uh, I think just a general yeah. investigation. Alright, um, either roll an investigation for more specific stuff, or roll a general perception check to see if you can spot anything out of the ordinary. Uh, but in the meantime... Octad. As you walk to the door, you notice, um... What do I, what do I notice with my cobbled eyes? Forgot to connect to roll 20. Damn. You got a nice 20. Yeah, I rolled a net 20 like for nice. back to the He sees all. So when did I um um cut out? Uh so you said so Octod. Yeah. Okay, so Octod. As you walk towards the door, you notice you start to notice um, the smell of something very irony and rich, something you've smelled before, definitely. Um, and the closer you get, as your eyes pierce through the light shining through, you start to see a pool of red ichor slowly making its way towards the door. And as you step closer and closer, you notice Father Jacques lying down on the floor within his office, motionless. Okay. So before I do what I'm gonna do, do you wanna do Kuda's thing since he got a 20? Sure thing. Oh, I actually. Oh, yeah, you're not connected to. I, I forgot to connect yet to roll 20. Uh, right. I sent you it as proof. Okay. Nat 20 investigation. Natural you up online, so I see it. It's in the game log. Yep. Um, so... 
most of the church just seems pretty mundane. Nothing really out of place. But looking at one of the windows near the stage of the church, uh, something closer to on this, that would be on the side, you notice a couple faint scratch marks. You're honestly surprised that you even noticed this, but it, from the looks of it, kind of seems like somebody forced this window open. Well, I guess I'd like to relay that to the Lord. I mean, I don't know if I should scare the, the preacher anymore. Mm -hmm. If you like, you could whisper to them or use your message cantrip to tell them. Oh, that would be interesting. No, Thank well, you, I guess I'm... for nodding in my ear. I guess my natural instinct is to message Nocta. Uh, um, why don't you come over here and take a look at this? I guess I'll just walk over there and can't, do I have to, can I just move over there or do I have to roll something? You can just move over there. Walking is just a mundane activity. I'm not going to have you randomly trip over anything unless it's specific. A body. Oh, you found Father Jacques. <laughs> I am here. What am I? What is that on the floor? Uh, you're not. No, we're not in the floor. floor. <laughs> you're not in his office. You're, you're in. Um, um, you're still in like the base church where everyone gathers, and listens to um, um, prayers and the like. Uh, and but, Rin motions you over to, one of the. Corner windows, um, something usually that's mainly opened only to let in some air for a breeze. Um, the windows are kind of old, even though the building isn't that old itself. Most of the wood seems like it's made out of um, recent uh, materials. But that might just be due to the building itself being repaired or something. Uh, but this window was definitely um, scuffed up and definitely visually forced open. Can I inspect the... or can I look around the area? Sure. To see if I could... What would you like to look at, exactly? Um, see if I can peer outside. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess I do that. Do I have to roll anything? Um, roll me a perception check. Nineteen? Alright. Picking, opening the window from the inside and peering out you notice that um, there's a small gap, not necessarily an alley or a sidewalk, but a small gap between the church and the next building over, where if somebody small or nimble enough could squeeze into, they'd be able to make their way through this window. And looking at the ground, you actually see a few footsteps leading to the back of the church. Can I standing? Can I um call Rin over? I want to call Rin over and Rin's right next to you. Oh I'm well, you, yeah. Rin, what do you see? That do you see what I'm looking at, Rin? I do if you're making it obvious to me. <laughs> yes. Pointing. Yeah. <laughs> that those footsteps there. <laughs> I see them. <laughs> Can, can we go downstairs and and go follow them? Is that possible? Yeah, I, you're on the ground level. You can just... Oh, well, I don't know. Can I just jump over the window then? All cool style? Yes, but it is going to be pretty difficult considering the landing area is very small and tight. I'm, I'm oh, small no. and limp. Okay. 
Go, Rin. It's still a difficult task. I'm calling you thick. Is it for... I'm not calling you thick. I'm just saying it would be difficult <laughs> for anyone. Not for a three-foot tall... It would be easier from someone of small... It would be easier for Rin, yes. It's not impossible for Nok Nokte, but it is definitely easier for Rin, considering he is a small... It almost what sounds like it was made for me. I'm going to jump down there. Well, not really jump, vault over there. All right. You jump out the window, and you squeeze into the small space that's available to you, and... Um, I assume you follow the footsteps? Yep. Alright. You f you sidle your way down this opening, and you come out in the back of the church, where there isn't typically any, like, s openings or surfaces available, besides a couple other windows. Um, but what you do notice is is um roll me a perception check actually also if anyone else would like to do anything uh do let me know oh good this is say um upon me discovering that body in the back i'd be like i found a dead guy can i eat him <laughs> yeah i need to try it at least once it would be like right after rin jumps out the window uh you hear akhtar call out Does he have he's, any money? Oh, well, he's going to uh, message him and say no. <laughs> <laughs> the voices in my head are telling me no, but I think I should eat him. Can I just walk back there and pick him up so he does not eat the dead body? He's asking permission. Um, Romy opposed athletics checks if you're going to resist Octad. Do I gotta do anything? Uh, yes. Oppose or resist, uh, a athletics. Am I also rolling athletics? Yes, you're both rolling and oh. whoever gets higher. And that's if you're resisting, Octad. Mm, uh, yeah. Okay. You go to re- You go and put your hands on Octad's shoulders, but- And you get a good, decent grip, but- he kind of like shrug, shrugs forward and kind of pushes your arm, your hands off of him um, defiantly. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Try to find out if I can eat this. I gotta get a taste for it. No, you menacing little creature. Do not eat the dead body. I'm People asking are... permission. Uh, Octod, you definitely remember recognize this person as Father Jacques, considering you were hired by him. He had a very flavorful spirit. No, oh, Lynn, you do not hear cannibalism. <laughs> it's cannibalism if I'm cold. That's what I'm saying. Listen, I just want to try it once. Give me just a hand. The potential for delicious flavors are being missed. You were promised a ham hog at the end of this. Be patient. Yeah, ham hog. but that was for the other thing. This is for if I still eat this. Oh my lord. <laughs> Listen, I try it once and then you never have to hear it from me again. It's that uh, simple. Dad, roll me a survival check. You definitely know that different meats from different parts of the body taste differently. Yeah, but I know that they're never going to let me be, so I just, like, just give me one piece. It's that simple. He's asking for the one piece. There you go, much higher. Real. Um, so Rin, 
uh, as this is also happening, with that perception check, you don't notice too much out of the ordinary, but as you continue following these footsteps, just towards the next building over, it's um, kind of leading away from the church, away from the village in itself towards the woods, you notice a you notice a letter is that a note kind of letter mm -hmm. no it's just, it's just a cue on the wall it's a single letter right? it's a um it's a crumpled up piece of paper on the ground no oh, thank you marjorie for nodding in my ear all right take a look at that you take a look at the letter? Yep. All right. Uh, uncrumpling it, you see this. And everyone oh, should be able to hello. see it. I do see. And if anyone would like to read it to themselves or out loud, feel free. No, no one's in like earshot really of me, are they? No, this is, this is you, but I'm sharing it with everyone because Okay. Yeah. I, don't know, I feel like I sh I'm obligated to read it out loud. I, I will read it out loud. I appreciate it. To <laughs> chat. I mean, if you want, I could also read it out loud. <laughs> nah, I can do it. Okay. Hello, Father Jacques. It has come to our attention that you are about to be in the possession of something of interest to us. It would be wise of you to be compliant and hand it over to us as soon as possible. Assuming you value the safety of both your church and your people, then you better make sure to keep us happy. I'll be having a few of my boys meet you to collect your response a week before the festival of the morning flame, and you best not disappoint. Be hearing from you soon, Pops. Your secret admirer, X. Ominous. So I say that's not ominous at all. And then do I see anything else in uh, this area then? Besides the um the footsteps leading towards the woods, not really. Okay, nothing of worthwhile. Mm -hmm. Alright, is there any markings or anything on the note that seem interesting? Um, roll, roll me a check. Um, I'll let you decide. Depending on what you roll, you can get different information. Can I make a... I wouldn't really care. I say I want to do a sleight of hand or something thievish. How about a deception? You're lying to the paper? Yeah, I guess that doesn't work either. Something I get a bonus of? Nothing? If not, you could also just roll me a uh, basic invest investigation. You don't yeah. see anything out of the ordinary. It just seems like somebody crumpled it up and threw it away. Or it might have gotten caught in the wind or any other number of things that could have had it end up here. All right. Well, I would like to keep it. Mm -hmm. They should away. You stow it away in a pocket or a pouch. Uh, and then we're going to cut back over to Alina. Is there anything you would be doing at this time? Also, you will find the bike. I should probably do this. Um... I 
hope you're all having a good day so far. And I hope this isn't, like, too much for all of you. We should probably search the office if that hasn't been done yet. Uh, you do see Akdar and Kay, um, kind of bickering a little bit at the doorway. Uh, Akdar really wanting to eat a, a hand from the sounds of it. I did project out loud that I, I asked to eat him. Mm-hmm. So if you'd like to make your way over to them. I like this song. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, we should go in and see if there's clues inside, so I'm gonna make my way over to them. Alright. Akdar, K, you notice as Alina makes her way over to the two of you, and assuming you let her pass, she kind of squeezes her way between you and the doorframe. And starts... See? Even she wants some of the meat. I say to K. I don't think that's what she's after. I think that's the only thing you're after. Aren't you the least bit curious? No. You civilized bunch are so uncivilized. Says the one who wants to eat a priest's hand. Yeah, you don't want to waste good food. Don't you argue with the sky, sky voice? Have you, God? <laughs> Negative inspiration for me. Now you keep your inspiration. I'm just messing with you. Alina does have the right idea, though. We should look around and see if there's any more clues. Mm hmm. Fine. I'll search the body. Make sure it has money. <laughs> also, um, I everyone, I found this mysterious leather. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> do I have? Do I read it out loud to them, or do I go to them and? I I have that. Okay. Cool. Yeah. It was Rin who found it. It just popped up on everybody's screen. Yep. Oh, okay. I let everyone see it. Just wanted to make sure. Yep. You're good. You're good. But yeah, um... Kay, Alina, Akhtar, if you'd like to roll investigation checks or perception checks and... Um... Actually, let me describe the room to you real quick, sorry. Um, as you're in the doorway, you notice that the room is, um, longer than it is wide. Um, hardly any room to get past anyone who would be sitting at the, the desk who's on one side uh, of the room, me, and the table who's on the other side, um, on the long walls. Um, on the far side, on the wall facing away from the door frame, you notice there's a bookshelf and uh, some cabinets uh, standing next to each other, as well as a simple window above them to let in natural sunlight. Um, a side table drawer sits next to the desk that has a couple papers on it, and um, the table um, opposite it uh, has uh, an empty bag 
sitting on it. And from the looks of the body, he fell on his side, facing the table. And there is a chair tossed onto the ground behind him. I definitely would like to investigate the bookshelf. The bookshelf? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Go ahead and roll me an investigation. Oh, I forgot to put that on the beat. Welp. Um... Wait. I don't see yours. Oh, there you are. Um... Looking through the bookshelves, you notice a lot of religious texts and, um... And just a bunch of scrolls of prayers and old hymns that would be sung about the, um, the, sorry, uh, the father of the morning flame. Um, and you don't really see too much out of the ordinary. Um... But you do notice, peeking out of the top of one of the books, um, specifically titled, um, The Warm Embrace of the Flame, you notice a small piece of paper uh, sticking out. Just, just barely. Huh. I'd like to pull that book out and check out that piece of paper. All right. You pull out the piece of paper and you see this. And everyone can see it as well. And if you'd like to read it, or if you want me to read it, just let me know. I can read it. No big deal. Okay. To whomever may read this, if you found this letter, then that could only mean that something terrible has happened to me. And for that, I am sorry. I was tasked with keeping a powerful magical artifact safe and secret in the name of the Morning Flame. And in this, I have failed my duty. If all else is well, then no one else has gotten hurt. Please inform Paladin Dance that the church will now be under the care of Brother John. I have taught him all I could about the Holy Flame. He is ready. I apologize that I failed in being there for the ones that needed it the most. May the Morning Flame judge me justly for the actions of me in life. And may his light guide you all to a brighter future. Your loving guide and friend, Father Jock Van Dyce. That is so sad. He's dead. Yeah. You did have to walk past his body in order to get there. That's such a shame. I wish we knew beforehand that he had passed away. Oh, man, I guess. (laughs) You say in front of his body. (laughs) I wonder whatever happened to him. (laughs) We could never find the body. A big bite taken out of his face. I don't know. Perception. <laughs> uh, did you roll perception? No, 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 no. I was letting you finish that before I did what I was oh, going to okay. do. I was and if Mordra wanted to do anything, I'll do mine last. Yeah, uh, I noticed you rolled perception, Alina. Uh, is there anything specific you want to look towards or just a general look around yeah. the room? General look around. Okay. Um, Like I said, you don't notice... Too much out of the ordinary. Uh, the bookshelf um, full of religious text. The bag on a table. Seems like it was holding something, but it's pretty empty now. Um, a lot of papers and letters uh, strewn about on the desk. And um, there's definitely a body on the floor. Can I check? his body just to see if there's any clues or anything um you are by the window waiting on rin at the moment 
Rin, where are you? <laughs> uh, it, it's just like, you guys are on pause. He just... More importantly, money. <laughs> <laughs> um, you don't see any signs of money directly. If you'd like to look in certain places, you'd have to roll me an investigation check. Aren't I still waiting for Rin, though? I'm on pause. Yeah, I, I'm just giving these guys a second to uh, do whatever they want. Because you guys are not doing this at the same time. Okay. Yep. Let Mordred go before I do what I wanted to do. Yep. Uh, what do you, would you like to investigate, Lena? Like I said, there is the bookshelf that is being looked over by Kay. There's the uh, cabinets. Investigate to see for any secret doors, like in the bookshelf. Um. Okay. Um, looking around, this room pre seems pretty mundane for what it is. Um, nothing really out of the ordinary. Nothing hidden per se. Uh, nothing, like, poking out against the walls. In fact, this room seems to be built on the exterior, uh, the back corner of the church. Uh, with two of its walls being exterior walls, and the other two leading directly towards the church. Just a thin wall in between. But I will give you that, um... Both the cabinet and the side table drawer next to the desk and the bookshelf, um, they both seem to be locked. Uh, oh, the uh, who? Mini Eddie! Thank you for the raid! Welcome in! Hope you're all having a good day so far. Just playing D&D. And I hope you all had fun. But, in the meantime... Octad, Anyone got a lockpick? Uh, Octad, while she's doing this, would you like to do anything specifically? Um, give me one second, I want to see if I have a lockpick to offer. I do not. Um, Alina, yeah, so I wanted to... Yeah, uh... I wanted to inspect the body... Mm -hmm. By that, I mean, I also want to run his pockets. Okay. Uh, which one's inspect? Is it insight or investigation? Investigation. Well, that could have went a little better. Um, looking around his body, you don't really notice um, many things in his pockets, the few that he has. Um, but you can certainly tell that this body was definitely stabbed in the back. Oh, uh, that's a shame. Yep. Oh no, that was not as sneaky as I wanted it to be. What are you trying to do? <laughs> uh, try to grab a finger, just to not, just to take a little chomp out of. Okay. Um, the other two are distracted at the moment, so let me take a quick peek at everyone's passive perceptions. To see how they fare against you trying to sneak a little nibble. Um, do, 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 do. um okay. Looking or grabbing his hand and slowly bringing it to your mouth. Um, Kay and Alina, you both noticed the rustling of the kobold. And as you look over your shoulders to um, both show either show what you have or ask for a lockpick, 
you notice Akdad with a finger in his open mouth about to bite down and just freezes looking at you. Oh, for God's sakes! <laughs> and... Nom 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 nom. Thank you, Kindev. And with that, we're gonna jump back over to Nocte and Rin. Or Nocte and Rin, yeah. Okay. So Rin, I assume you come back towards the window and climb on through? Yep. Alright. Nocte, you notice as Rin kind of struggles a little bit to make his way back through the window. Not really much room to flap his wings to get some elevation. But eventually he does make his way in there. And um, you notice that he's... And, and would you like to ask him anything? Did you, what, did you, find, any, did you find anything? Where did those lead to? And I'll present my note. And you'll get the note that you saw earlier with the vaguely fail, veiled threat to Father Jacques. Oh, I found this note. And then do you have it on screen? Uh, you can bring it up um, on your oh, right journals. There. Anything like that that I show you guys, it's going to be in your journals for you to look at later. Oh. So it's the mysterious letter. Do you want me to read that loud? Well, Is your eyes too little written? You don't need... No, no, I read it. <laughs> okay. I read it. I mean, Rin read it. Yeah, you're presented with this letter. I don't know if I, we should maybe take this to the... Um, that's that's very sus. Jones. Very sus. Let's go show everyone what we found and make our way over there. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Ye old terminology of sus. <laughs> it's cres it's it's crescent fell slang. No, I, I'm joking. You can <laughs> do whatever. It's fine. Um, but yeah, you two make your way over, and um, you also walk in just in time to notice Akdad with a finger in his mouth, paused, looking at both Alina and Kay. Uh, was 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 he doing? Hey, don't do that. He's trying uh, to eat the the finger. He wants to know what jock tastes like. Um, no, don't do that. All right, what if we uh, he's starting between everyone? <laughs> I Can wasn't I... trying to eat him. I simply was trying to inspect him for more wounds that we might not have seen and possibly poison. Can I roll up a book? Can I grab a book and just hit him? Sure. Okay. Roll me a d20 plus your strength modifier. Oh well, yeah, no, I've become that. the cat. Um, <laughs> dies. Lo look at your strength and click on the um, the bonus, whatever it is, the big, either plus or minus. Oh, uh, the big strength, like strength dexterity, that one? Yep. Did you ever use that bardic inspiration I gave you? <laughs> I need help. <laughs> It should be top left of your um, your screen. You could just click it. Uh, give me a second, Dusk. I'll pull it up. That's a strength save, but it should be basically the same thing. I um, think it's the same. Akdad, what is your armor class? Oh, is that one? 15. Gonna... Okay. Yes. Yep. So... You want me to roll it again, or is that good? I, if you want, you can roll it again. Because oh. I pressed the 11 and it nothing appeared. Oh no, you want to hit the bonus, which is the plus or minus. No, it's, yeah, I, I, I pressed that. Yep. Also, you do still have that bardic inspiration that... Can I do that? Yeah. I'll use it. Uh, what's the die, uh, Rin? I believe it's a 6. A d6? Alright, mm -hmm. roll 1d6 mm -hmm. and add it to your roll. 
You say like I know how to do that. Um, okay. And the bottom left, there should be a red die symbol. Oh, Just bring that yeah. up and roll the basic looking dice. Roll. Four. So you add that to your roll and you get 16. Which Eight. does <laughs> hit his armor class. However, this is an improvised weapon, so it'll deal oh. one damage to Akdad as you <laughs> rush over, grab the book out of Kay's hands, and just whack him in the face. Stop trying to eat things you're not supposed to eat. <laughs> Kay, there's now a slight dent in the book that you were just holding. <laughs> just don't slight. Use Nah. We don't use books as weapons. They're for um, reading. Quiet roast history chicken. <laughs> um, roll me intimidation. <laughs> Wait, I did not. <laughs> Kay, you feel viciously mocked. Like, this is an offense to your people. I'm surrounded <laughs> by children. I mean, you have a little cobalt eating finger. Me. That's it. Two children. <laughs> and, and plus the literal children with Alina. <laughs> I just fly up and sit on Kay's shoulder and just fan him a little. <laughs> like, sorry. Just don't mind them. I like how the little fairy's apologizing to the people he's known for like five minutes. Hmm. Yeah, I need someone that I can rely on. I'm small. I'm just going to ignore the mockery, okay? Hmm. I'm gonna turn to Ren and be like, So what did you find? Then I present the first note. Yep, you see the vaguely veiled threats um, aimed towards Father Jacques from his mysterious or er, his secret admirer. I don't well, know. That if... is. That is unfortunate. Is this something that we bother um, Brother John with? Uh, possibly, because we also found a letter stashed in a book. The one that Nocte threw, or hmm. hit Octod with, specifically. Did you find anything in his body? Did you search his body? Did he have money? Wait, what did the letter say? <laughs> no day with her priorities. <laughs> <laughs> I have to pretend to care. <laughs> I would like to present the letter that I found. And you all see the letter that Father Jacques um, seemingly last wrote his final words, if you will. Yeah, it doesn't appear he was going to give up easy whatever this is. Okay, I think we should go talk to John and see what what our next step is because this is too sus. Alina is still there asking for um, some sort of lockpick lock or thief tools. Uh, do I? I have an axe. <laughs> the ultimate lockpick. <laughs> I have axe. my thief tools. Those are lockpicks. Okay, I guess I'll just wait. Oh well, sh wait. Yeah, I'll give it to. Thieves tools are meant to unlock things, to disa disable traps or stuff similar to those. Cool. Okay, I'll give it. Here you go, Alina. Or do you need help lockpicking it? Or do you know what you're doing? 
and you say to the person who looks more mature than you, not necessarily older, but more mature. Excuse me. Wiser. <laughs> it's because elf versus human. <laughs> yeah, so about the children. No, we don't stop asking. Stop. No. We don't eat children. That's not what I mean. <laughs> there are two children in this, in this party. One is very hungry. The other is just a child. And they're both not here. I was talking about me and and not and not day. Hmm. Okay, there are four children in this party. Me. Two of them professionally hired to be bodyguards. Okay, they didn't ask for a resume. So far, your track record is zero to one. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I get fired a lot. So, Elena, do you need help with this lock pick? Or, or lock to be picked? Or do you got it? Yeah. Also, in, which one are you opening first? The cabinet or the um, side table drawer? It's up to Elena. Yeah, cabinet. Cabinet? Alright, roll me a sleight of hand and Add your um, proficiency bonus to it again. So what would I be rolling, if anything? You would be rolling your sleight of hand. Um, am I cut off again? No. You're okay, 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 good. Again. Um, yeah, but you will be rolling sleight of hand, and if you are proficient in it, you will add your proficiency bonus again. Um. Oof. Um. Mega roof. As soon as I, um, as soon as I start talking, er, as soon as I ask, I cut off anyways. It's okay, Sam. Un unlucky. So, having been taunted by Nocte, Alina, you pout a little bit under your mask before turning around and slipping the lockpicks into the lock. And you start working your magic, you get the first pin... But as you go for the second, just about as it's right about to click in the place, you hear a snap as the bottom lockpick breaks, and um, you know that uh, Nocte is going to need a new piece to her set. And Nocte, standing right behind her, you recognize this sound as it's something you've heard a lot when, as you were growing up and being trained in... 
your place of birth. Do you need help? I have my axe ready. Anime sweat drop. <laughs> Alina, you noticed that the the breaking of the lockpick was A link not, was not just audible, but it was like a pin dropping in a quiet room. Everyone heard it. It's okay, Alina. It's it's fine. I think we should try to brute force this. <laughs> um, Octod, can you see if you can break that with your axe carefully? But I'm a hide my shame, swearing to replace it. Break it with my ex. <laughs> break, break, break the lock. Break the lock. Not break the cabinet. It. Break, break no. it. No, sweetheart. Break the lock. The, the, see this I... middle thingy right here, right there. The little. You gotta, you gotta use your ex precisely. Precisely. I like to think destroy. that Nokte is doing the classic mom thing of just kneeling down and getting on level with with <laughs> Akdad and be like, "No, sweetie, no." <laughs> <laughs> and I'm doing the hand gestures like no, no, no. <laughs> Break. <laughs> Gentle. Gentle on the lock. See shiny thing? Look, if you if you are able to break the lock and only the lock, not the cabinet, I will let you eat one finger. Mm. But if you can't you, you might want to it. specify where that finger's from. <laughs> finger from Pinky, 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 right hand. Whose okay. hand though? You mean two. Oh, Jock, Jock, the dead guy, right there. Point. His eyes are bloody. Up. Well, he goes to swing. You hit. A roll for damage. All right, everyone, you watch as the cobalt starts to get. Very excited, his mouth salivating as he oh, grips no. his axe tighter, swings, and as you watch this great axe strike the lock. Hand axe. It was a hand axe. Oh, I used the hand axe. I'll use the hand axe. Okay. As you watch this hand axe hit the lock and slightly embed itself in the cabinet before he pulls it back and it opens. See? I used the hand axe so I didn't completely destroy the cabinet. Good. Now, be go eat your finger. Pinky. Yay. Dead body. We'll just tell Father John that we found it that way. Just hear some crunching in the corner. <laughs> I thought it was a survival check. Hand axe still embedded in it. It's a handle now. <laughs> it's a handle axe. <laughs> Exactly. I'll grab it in a second after I finish this finger. <laughs> Go ahead and roll me a survival check, Akhtar. Oh god, he's gonna be poisoned. You notice that the taste is a lot like pork. And... but it's kind of long and stringy. There's also the crunching of the bone, which is just amazing when you get to the marrow um yeah. but you also feel like a tingly sensation roll me a constitution saving throw not a constitution 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 i'm not even worried if he gets sick because you told him he can eat a finger i'm going to throw something you feel your tongue go a little numb for a second, kind of tingly, but um, other than that, it's just kind of a little tingle to the flavor. Mm. You, you okay there, Octod? My tongue goes a little numb. You don't speak uh, on the list, it just feels a little more numb. It doesn't actually um, go numb. Oh, well. Me, Octod me. is very, uh,. What's the word? Dramatic. Dramatic. So he does talk with, with the list to dramatize the numbness. Wait, was this guy poisoned to death or? 
I mean, beside the whole thing on his face. We don't talk about that. I don't think I need this again. <laughs> Got it. No humans. Okay. No thingies. You do know he's a halfling. So he's about the size of Akhtar. Hmm. Yum, yum. Okay. So I think we should check. Oh, wait. Have we opened the cabinet yet? It swung open, but um, I just took a moment to describe what Akhtar was doing real quick. Okay. Cool. Who would like to look um, in first? Anyone? Think first. The two closest people would be Nocte oh, and Alina. Okay, since my dear friend and rogue, rogue from another mom, um, destroyed my lockpick set, I guess I'll just peer in there. All right. Roll me an in either an investigation or a perception check. Um, investigation to get more specifics. Perception to see just what's in there. Oh, keto. I thought he'd make me look in for a sec. <laughs> well, which one is it? You pick. You pick. Okay. I'm just letting you know what you would get from each. Perception. Yes. Okay. You notice that there are a bunch of robes similar to what he was he's wearing or he was wearing currently um uh just a lot less red um there's also a bunch of shoes a couple extra copies of the main holy text of the holy flame and you don't really see anything like I the ordinary there's a small box there but nothing really of seeming importance I grab the box okay it's a small like it's a small box about the size about the same size as of what a uh, jewelry box would look like or feel like is it locked it is not okay I guess I'll just open it okay you open the lid of it on top, swinging it open, and you do notice a couple jewels. Um, nothing fancy, just like old family heirlooms. Um, you notice a couple pictures, uh, some old, old letters, and um, and uh, a golden ring along with the rest of the jewelry. All right, I I will hand over the letters to my dear friend. Okay, and I will take what I am owed because Father Jacques is dead and he owes me money. Okay, you take a couple earrings, uh, a small pearl necklace, and a gold ring. Nice. Mm -hmm. Here you go, Kay. I found these letters. You should go ahead and read them because you're so smart. Are you being sneaky about pocketing the jewelry or...? No, I'm... I am because he owes me. Okay, everyone knows that um, she pocketed whatever else was in that box. Okay. Well, Lena, you would have been able to see it was a couple of jewels. Nothing too glamorous or expensive, really. Yay. Yeah. Kay, would you like to look over the letters? Yes. All right. You notice that these letters are very old, and almost all of them are handwritten. And they seem to be addressing Jacques just by his first name. Um, all these seem to be lovingly written um, personal messages, all from an old lover of his. Um, and, a pic and the picture at the very end is um, Father Jacques with an older looking human that is carrying him and just almost seems like um, a wedding photo between him and his husband. Aww. And looking at Father Jacques, you notice there's still a ring on his finger.
a similar looking golden ring to what Nocte pocketed. I'm not giving this. Wait a minute. Hold up. Nocte. Okay, I get here. Here you go. I unpocket the ring and just give it to her. In the picture, you also recognize the earrings that the husband is wearing, as well as the necklace that oh. Um, oh, Jacques no, no, is wearing no, himself. No. no, no, no. The earrings are mine. <laughs> no, no, no. This is mine. You put the ring back into the jewelry box. Mm. But I think, or I suspect that. Wait, do we know that his um, husband is dead? From the age of the letters and the single ring being in there and not looking recently worn at all, uh, you can probably assume that he is. That he has okay. passed a while ago. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Mm -hmm. What do we do? We should find and take these to Father John and tell him everything we found. He's not a father yet. Whatever. Yeah. Father to be. Daddy, you're you treating. Daddy, you treat. Did Don't you say there were two more there's... books in that cabinet? Um, there is copies of the holy text that's very common for the Church of the Morning Flame. Do I know anything about this religion already? Um, roll me a religion check. Yes, you are very familiar with this religion. It's very common um, in the... Uh, shit, I forgot the name of it. <laughs> Sorry, I need to look something up. Looking at my notes. Uh, in the holy state of Lala Malaksara, um, you, it's very common there. It's basically the um, the leading religion in the Holy State. Um, and it's been making its way over to um, the Duchy of Pasha for the past couple years, especially over the last decade. Um, you do know that they tend to be early risers, they tend to have morning worships, uh, spend most of their time in the day in the sun, have a real affinity for fire, and those kind of magics and tend to be more closely related to the elemental plane of fire as the as the morning lord as he's also called tends to be more associated with the sun and the plane of fire as that is his domain you also know that the morning lord uh, is depicted to be this great and very handsome looking fire elemental. Oh, wow. Because mm -hmm. wow. <laughs> as you all remember, we're, we're making all the gods elementals. So nothing like suspicious or anything that could be the, like part of the reason why he was murdered? No. Nothing that you could think of that the religion itself would lead to him even having enemies. There are those who dislike the church for personal reasons, but nothing to this extent, unless it's okay. like a madman. Okay. Tends to be a very good and peaceful church. Anything else? Would you like to look at the um, side table drawer, the the desk, the bag that's still on the table? Would you like to look again at um, Father Jacques? 
see if anyone else can notice anything. I'll investigate him. All right, go ahead and roll investigation. All right, looking around his body, um, you notice besides the stab wound and the missing finger, which you know where that one went, um, you notice that um, there seems to be some sort of odd substance um, just along the inside of the stab wound. Uh, if you'd like to take a closer look at it, uh, go ahead and roll me a survival check. So we we do know it's already a kind of a poison, something from Octo. You're not familiar on what it may be. It could just be some sort of salve that he was trying to put on to heal himself. Could it be a poison, or it could just be some residue that was on whatever stabbed him. Hmm. Well, maybe someone with a good survival skill would want to give this a look over. Yeah, you just notice it's SV. kind of weird. Yeah, so if Rins brings this up to your attention, uh, if any of you would like to roll a survival check to... I can do it. Know what this is. Go ahead. Could be kind of good considering I ate the finger. Nookday, you're kind of in the same boat, and oh. Octod, you just know it's some sort of weird residue. Um, Nookday, you do know this that it does have some sort of numbing component to it as you start to feel your fingertips go a little bit numb at the just the parts that were exposed from you examining the, um, the residue. But Alina, um, you are very familiar with this. This is a pretty popular poison. Sorry for the alliteration, uh, but um, it's a popular poison used closer to the region that you're from that but it's typically used as a paralyzing agent. Nothing really fatal about it. Uh, K, you also get this. Um, this is a definitely a paralysis poison. Nothing that should kill outright. And if anything, he didn't. He couldn't have died from either the stab wound. Or the poison itself. If either of you would like to roll a medicine check to see um, what exactly was what what it was that did him in. Either one of us or both. Either one of those two. Um, Alina, you've seen a job like this before. You know that this was done deliberately and painfully as Father Jacques knew he was stabbed, fell over because he was paralyzed, and was stuck there as he slowly bled out to death. This was deliberate and painful. Someone really had it in for Father Jacques. And caress and nook or yeah, and K and Nook Day, you would also know that um, from the stab wound itself, just from where it's positioned and how the blade would have been inserted, that he could have only died from the blood loss. Hmm. So there might be another, or not another, but there might be an item hiding somewhere in here, like 
you mentioned a drawer. And the satchel or bag that's yeah. nearby. There is the a bag on too. the table, and there's the a bunch of papers and letters and stuff on the desk, and the ca uh, the side table drawer next to the desk. By the way, this room is pretty small. It is very cramped for all of you to be in here, as well as trying to step around the body. I don't take up a lot of space. Neither does Zach, though. I can we can I can it, stand on the shoulders and we're the it, it, Like I said, it's very it's a very humble church, and Father Jacques took a small office just to keep things supposedly safe. Hmm. I think grab that bag and fly it out to the hallway. Then I was gonna say we should probably split up, and as we look, we can call. Mr. John over um, and tell him everything so yeah. far. I was just letting you know that the room is cramped. You can all still fit in there and do whatever it is you need to. I'm just letting you know it, it just you can't, you all are kind of close to each other. Personal like, space, hey. man. Guys, you want me to break the other things so we can open it yeah since that is true um does it need broken i mean the drawer the on way. the table is locked yeah. but that's one of them so. locks that have the lock inside not just you know a lock, mm. lock well if i cut the desk in half oh lord no 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 well, if i cut if i if i break it in half well, uh, what if you damage what's inside of the table? If I break it in half. Uh, Rin, also looking over um, uh, the father's body, you would have found a small set of keys. I was going to see that. Uh, yeah. I sold my axe already. You were just so. a little distracted by the, um, the kobolds yeah. and the chaos and just everything and the stab wound. So, we'll talk about this I also, just for future reference, I forgot too. I have a pry bar. What? Yeah. Oh, oh. for flocks. Well, big piece of, of, it's a big piece of iron with a hooky piece at the end. Speaking of pry bar, Octod, go ahead and roll me your damage. As you hit a stationary object. Zeke's. This is the great hex, right? Yeah. I mean, okay. I, I did just get here, though, so... So, you all barely duck out of the way or dodge as you see this big axe from this small kobold swing towards the desk and just hitting right in between the top of the drawer and the lid, going completely forward and the drawer just dropping from the desk itself. Oh, well, that worked out. <sighs> Luckily, the top of the desk is still uh, intact. But um, you won't be able to fit the drawer back on anymore. Well, he didn't need it anyway. I got it, guys. I got it, see? I don't, did it. Don't do that again. And then Rin comes up. Hey, I found the keys. <laughs> and a crowbar. And a crowbar. Well, I, <laughs> well, I don't have to do it again because I, I already got the drawer out. There's Perfect. a burn instance where we need you to force brute force something. I'm so gonna hit you with this book. Did I get my hand axe out of the wall or did I already do that? Uh roll me a strength check. Just wanna get it out of the uh Actually roll me two strength checks. Two strength checks, one for before, one for after. Okay, you get it in there very solidly, and so solidly that when you go to pull it out, you can't help but continuously pull the uh, cabinet open and then close and then open and close. You can't really pull the axe itself free from the cabinet. Unless you want to put need... more effort into it. I will put more effort into it. I need it back. Okay, roll me an athletics check as you brace the cabinet with your foot. Cabinet's trying to eat. It's trying to eat my axe. Okay. Uh, you're 
this is just um, on the side. Your grip on the axe slips as you fall on your back and push yourself onto the floor. This is ridiculous. Fuck. My greatest opponent yet. A cabinet. Hmm. So what's in that drawer? So in the drawer, you notice uh, a bunch of pens, a couple closed inkwells, um, a bunch of papers, a couple letters, one seemingly that like it's um, folded up, a couple that are rolled in the corner. Ew. Uh, would anyone like to look through it? I'm already there. All right, go ahead and roll me investigation. Eighteen. All right. Going through all these papers, a lot of them just look like regular business stuff for the church, maintenance, supplies, um, recent repairs done to the building itself. Uh, almost like most of this building was just recently repaired and just now started being functional. Um, but you do notice one important looking letter hidden beneath the stack of all the others. Um, and this is what it says. Ooh. Read it out loud to the class. Would you like me to, or would you? I can do it. Okay. What's his last name? Van Dyke? Van Dice. Van Dice. That's what I thought it was. Father Jacques Van Dice of Kuro Village. Kind father, we are tasking you with a most sacred task. We are sending you a magical item of significant importance for you to keep hidden and safe. Your loyalty to the church has not gone unnoticed, and in tandem to this duty, we will be sending your church additional funds to help your developing church become the great house of the flame that you sought out to develop in the Duchy of Basha. We have sent one of our most trusted paladins under the guise of a simple traveler to bring these to you and to grant you any assistance you may need during the week he is planned to stay, for as we have been told, there's a festival of the sun being held there. As that is the case, he will be watching to ensure that everyone who attends may receive the blessing of the morning flame. We thank you for your efforts, duty, and loyalty to the church, and we hope his holy light will guide you forward along this path. Your family inflames the divine clergy of the morning flame. Duty. <laughs> I had a mouthful of water, you can't <laughs> Speaking of hot water, hydrate. Uh -huh. Thank you, Yeti. Thirsty. Just like Father Shock and that poison. A, am I right? A, he didn't drink it. A, <laughs> too bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to assume that this note would be about Paladin Dance, who didn't bring anything with him. Um, yeah. Rin, you specifically would remember that when you were traveling with him in the wagon, he did have a backpack with a wide crate or container of some sort um, just being covered up by the lid of it. So I would assume that's him. Mm -hmm. So the magical item would possibly be in that crate. And looking at the bag, you do recognize it as being the one Paladin Dance had with him. Okay. Anything in that bag? I don't think I fully searched that. Nobody has searched it yet. I will search it. Roll investigation. Anybody else want to search this bag? The bag seems pretty empty and mundane. Nothing really special about it. Is it fashionable? It's a 
brown kind of basic uh, beige um, burlap sack. No, not sack. Um, back, backpack. Canvas backpack. Okay. It's functional. Can does it? Oh, I was about to make it not functional. <laughs> to, Koda, to you, it doesn't seem functional, but it's very empty. Just like my. <laughs> Anyways, now what? What do we do, fellas? I got paid. We don't talk about how I got paid, but I got paid. Does Can anyone think it's worth to talk to a? Uh... John, or do we leave him be? I think we should handle this ourselves, because John would panic and point fingers he's... at dance. But we should go sneak and go to dance ourselves. Yeah, only we should definitely talk to dance regardless. Yes. So, right. yeah, I think we should do that. Um, Nocte. Roll me an insight check to see how valuable those jewels that you have are. <laughs> you think you can get, like, maybe two gold for them? Which isn't bad, normally. Well, that's not what I was supposed to be paid for. No, it's like... a hundredth of the price. Yeah, I guess I'll just put them back. But... You, you put the earrings and the pearl necklace back. They do look fashionable. You could wear them. Are they... <laughs> Are they hoops? No, they're more like dangly little jewelry. They're kind of gold with like... What looks like sapphires uh, in a diamond shape. Kind of like twinkling beneath them. Uh, no, I think I'd just rather put them back. Okay. So you open the cabinet by the hand axe, and you put the jewelries back in the jewelry box. Good. Does Octod have his axe out yet? Are we good to go? You saw as Nocte opened the cabinet by the hand axe. Well, I mean, isn't his other axe stuck in the desk? No, no, that one just went straight through and didn't catch on anything. I think it's time to clean up and go. No, I think they someone my... else can clean up after us. I need my oh, hand axe. We clean so much. All right, the predicament of Doc, I mean, Octod's hand still in there. Um... Not his hand, his hand axe. Oh, his, I thought his hand was, okay. No, no it's no. a hand axe. <laughs> I don't know why I thought his hand was stuck in there. I'm throwing it. I can't, I can't get it out. Um, oh, I think I'm, I think I'm going to help him. All right. I have a pry bar. I don't know that'll help with the axe. <laughs> pry you know, it between the blade and the wood? Uh, yeah, I guess it makes the nest right. Okay, I, I'm going to help this guy. Okay. Nukte, you brace the door by pushing against it. Um, Rin, you put your... You find a little notch that you can put your pry bar on, and Octod, you get up, dust yourself off, spit in your hands, rub them together, and just grab the handle. And go ahead and roll with advantage. Strength or athletics? Athletics. It's time for real. God, why my roll so bad? Oh, you said advantage, I get one God more. Damn it. Uh, no, it's just Octod, because you two are helping him. Oh, okay. thought we would help him. I got advantage, though. I can't see the number. What's the same? Why did you roll so bad today? High or low? Low? Give me a second. It's loading. Okay, you loosen the axe a bit. You're not sure if it's able to be freed yet, but it seems easier. At this point, I'm just going to start dragging the cabinet with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I don't think we're leaving without the axe. 
Would you like to try again? One more time. And this time add a d6 to your roll. Please. Yeah. All right. <laughs> We're giving him the X. Just give him the X. <laughs> yeah. I'll add the six on top of it. Twenty-four. Give it back. Feeling Give it back. feeling frustrated and being fueled by your natural rage and strength, you just stick your foot on against the cabinet, grab it with one fist, and just yank it out, pulling splinters everywhere. <laughs> this should not have been as difficult as it was. It should not have been, no. What was that cabinet made of? It was made out of cobalt strength wood. Apparently, I need to get some of that. I I'm sorry that you wedged it in there with an 18 and kept rolling below 18. <laughs> I just wanted my ex. I got it back at least. Mm -hmm. Alright. You got your axe back. Okay, I'm ready. We can go now. Yay. Let's skedaddle out of here. Alright. And I feel like that's the perfect opportunity to take a quick 10 minute break. What do you say? Awesome. Uh, that's a good idea. Yeah. I'm hungry. I am too. So we'll come back in about 10 minutes and go ahead and do whatever it is you need to. And in the meantime, we're going to go to the beer back screen and see you all soon. <laughs>
And we're back. Welcome, everyone. So, before the break, everyone was investigating Father Jacques' office at the humble church of the Morning Flame. And we return to, um... A link. The fuck are you doing again? Oh, we got the hand axe out. We yeah, we just got the hand axe out, and weren't we going to go talk to Paladin? Yes. Oh, we gotta hydrate and the posture posture check. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> I nearly just choked on my water <laughs> again. <laughs> Twice. Take a shot every time Karen almost choked on their water. Two times choked. That's Stop what? choking. <laughs> Look, I'm not doing it on purpose! <laughs> Why not? Why don't you do it on purpose? Because I, I'm not into that, first of all. <laughs> I'm just saying everyone should, tr everyone should try Jiggity. octopus once. What? Oh wait, porpoise, that's dolphin. Never mind. Mm. Anyways. You got the hand axe out. You look through the office. Is there anything else anyone would like to do? Kick the dead body. Oh. Have we looked at everything in the office thus far? Yes, as far as you're aware. So we should do one more investigation check on everybody? Yes, you should look at the party and investigate each other. <laughs> we like should, actually. Everybody. <laughs> I, I think K is pretty sus. What the? <laughs> Keep Why am I suspicious? <laughs> Don't be Bird. suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Be suspicious. Walking government drone. Just because I don't want you to eat a dead body and possibly get sick does not mean I'm a- That does not make me a government drone! That's such a low bar! <laughs> <laughs> then again, Octad is very short, so it might be a high bar for him. Damn. I have a rebuttal, but it's not Twitch appropriate. <laughs> Alright, if everyone's good, let's go. Yay. Alright. You all start making your way out of the office and down in between all the pews. And as you go to exit the doors, um, Brother John actually perks up and he looks at all of you and goes, uh, did, did you find anything else? What's going to happen? Well, we found these letters, and now he has, everything is your responsibility. What? Okay, you tell him. Oh no. He looks at oh, you Lord. patiently, or longingly, I should say. He so, did. Octod! I know! I've, I'm the one who found him! Oh, oh yeah. He's extra dead. Yeah, no. How can you be extra dead? He was poisoned! Oh, no! <laughs> and missing a finger. <laughs> Why would... And they completely so destroyed ring. his office. No, no, that's fine. Everything's fine. His office was fine when I went in earlier. Oh. Weather, the weather I hope you destroyed. You have your own. You will not have noticed because of the shock of seeing him dead. Yeah. Exactly. Romy deception check. All of us. Um, Octa, the one who's lying the most right now. <laughs> oh. 
I roll stop a good. Uh oh. Mm-hmm. I. I do recall hearing a loud noise while you were over in there. I Are fell. You, you fell? Yeah. I don't even want to know anymore. All right. It's just the noise of your mind. It's a cramped space. <laughs> Long story short, you are now to be appointed the father of this church. I'm what? N- no, I. I Congratulations, you got a promotion. I, but I'm. I couldn't. I. Couldn't Congratulations. You are not responsible. Oh, it's God. up to him in the end. I mean, there's. No one else to, to do it. I. I guess it'll Congratulations. Have to be. Congratulations. Yay! I, you, you did it. We should okay. give him a big this hand way, though. Yeah, we should uh, go you, uh, talk to Vance. You take his hand, and he doesn't move it at all. You're just moving it for him. Could you all have a little more tact and empathy in this kind of situation, please? I'm not getting paid for empathy. It doesn't flavor the conversation wow. very well. <laughs> What's your layman again? What, what's your alignment li- again? Um, I think neutral? I don't remember. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, never mind. I thought it was like chaotic good or something. Has it? Do I? Oh, description? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's neutral. Okay. No, it checks out. <laughs> Anyways, these leathers point to dance, and I believe that we have to go speak with him. If the, any more of this is brought to our attention, we will come back. For information, blah blah blah, money, money. Um, I, I guess I have to clean up the mess then. Yes, you do. Oh dear. Congratulations. Congratulations, you won. <laughs> I don't feel like I've won your anything. First, this is your first day as the boss. I. Yay. He faints. Now look at what you've all done. I think that one will. I agree. I'm just gonna pinch the bridge of my beak and walk out of the church. It's a good idea. Right behind you. you. Your beak is hard to the touch, but you expected that. Yeah. (laughs) It's not the first time you've done that. Definitely (laughs) not. It's not gonna be the last. Oh. Now, where is this paladin dance where we have to speak to him? What did he uh, say he was saying? He mentioned that he was still going to be assisting the um, the refugee, uh, the survivors of the fire. But um, tell me, someone pick. High or low? Oh, uh, so, never mind. Uh, high, high or low? High. <laughs> uh, I'm rolling again. I'm rolling again. High or low? Low. <laughs> low. 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 All right. Oh. Yeah, you. You just remember him saying that he was staying over, or that he was going to be helping the uh, injured folk that were still over by the fire. Go. Should we head back toward the fire? Yes. Or where it was? You can see the cloud that s- signifies the fi- fire um, looks smaller and a little wider now. Uh, doesn't seem like the fire is out completely, but it's more contained if you can, if that's 
if you're reading the smoke right. Does anyone know smoke signal? Roll me survival. <laughs> I don't speak smoke signal. It's okay. I have lived in the outers for a long time. Damn. I might. Good job. You're so smart. Thanks. Nope, day. You have no fucking idea. It's smoke. <laughs> it, it it could be a cloud for all you know. Damn. <laughs> I think it's gonna rain soon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> K, Octad, you both know that this is the sign of a fire petering out or on its last legs. Ugh. The fire is going down soon. We should fu we should find warmth and shelter soon. Damn, it's like it's gonna rain. <laughs> you say that, and it's the sun is still like high in the sky. <laughs> I have a spell for that. <laughs> Afternoon nap. Followed by your midday snooze. <laughs> Classic Octod. So do we see the paladin anywhere? So you all head back towards the the burning inn or the burning tavern. And you see a lot less people around. A couple people who look a little more official. Um, uh, like starting to, uh, go through some of the rubble as the tavern itself has come down, unfortunately. And, um, they're just going through the embers and making sure everything is, um, put out. And, um, you do see Paladin and Dance still there, um, attending to the last couple of injured folk. He hasn't seemed to have noticed you yet. Hmm. Do we see his wagon anywhere? It's not I... his wagon. He rode with you in someone else's wagon. Do we... Oh, then his crate? No. Nope. Or where he would be staying at? Uh, you... <laughs> you see him in front of the burning tavern on the street helping people. Yeah, but his wallet have... hanging out of his pocket. <laughs> you do not see his a crate or the backpack that was carrying the crate. I'd like to walk up and gently tap him. Would on you the like shoulder. to roll oh, uh, a little before that? Would you like to roll a perception check to see if you see his wallet? No. <laughs> I will. <laughs> God's above and below. <laughs> Is, is there a disadvantage because uh, Kay is alerting him while she's checking for his wallet? No, this would be as Kay's walking up. So, Nookie, <laughs> you don't see a wallet anywhere, but he does have a fine ass. Oh, goddamn, hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> hey, Octa, you see what I see? Um, if, if he kind of actually looks like um, if you played Fallout 4. Oh, no, I, I, I know, Paladin I know dance. who you're talking about. <laughs> Maybe he's a front pocket wallet guy. Mm. <laughs> I like to. <laughs> so, so, okay. You, you tap him on the shoulder, and uh, he looks back at you and goes, Oh, oh uh, y'all are back. Uh, how'd the investigation go? Y'all find anything? We found a few things, and when you're done here, we'd like to speak with you. Yeah, I'm just... Your ass looks nice. Work it... Uh, thank you? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I I'm just working on the last couple folk. Uh, just give me, like, two seconds, and I'll be right with you. And okay. <laughs> you watch as he uses a couple more bandages wrapping around someone's leg. Um, not sure what kind of injury they got, but... Uh, as soon as he's done, he gives them a pat, helps them up, um, uh, helps them over to 
uh, a family member who takes them away before turning back to you and all right sorry that took so long uh i appreciate y'all going over there by the way so uh what you find you Rin. sir are a murderer oh yeah go <laughs> ahead Rin. present him with the uh the notes we have oh this is uh that's pretty concerning I wish he informed us of uh, the the impending danger that he was facing. I, I might have oh. been able to pick up some supplies to help protect him or something. And would you be the paladin on this note? Unfortunately, yeah. I, I forgot I was supposed to be undercover. But uh, that kind of flew out the window as soon as the fire came. No. Look, I'm not the brightest light bulb in the bunch. And that's exactly why you're my type. Uh, oh no, stupid. <laughs> so, you have um, a magic item that put his life in danger? Y'all weren't supposed to know about that. Well, is this uh, the one that's still... We do now. Let's, uh, let's all head back. Let's head somewhere private. Uh, I'm staying, staying in an inn, inn nearby. Uh, if y'all don't mind coming with me, uh, we can grab my, we can head into my room and, uh, speak more privately there. He's trying to seduce us. Don't trust him. I trust him. I trust him. Oh, no. no wait. Dusk has been charmed. He is has been charmed. very not charming. Damn. He rolled a five. Stupid <laughs> and not charming. To charm us? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, no, I just rolled for it. It it would equal like a twelve. Um, but yeah. Um, he takes you all to a nearby inn that's a couple blocks away. Um. Uh, you read the sign. It says um, the the missing wheel, and uh, you go in. He waves towards the innkeeper, uh, seeming like to, yeah, excuse me, seeming to be an old friend of his, and he takes you all up the stairs and into a room, letting you all in before he closes the door behind all of you. So, how much do y'all know about the item? I'm, yeah, I mean, Kay, it... shush. Oh, God. Yeah, Kay, hey, tell just... him how much we know. She's the smartest out of all of us. I mean, considering I know about as much as everybody else in this room that was investigating, that it was magical. And it put Father Jock's life in danger. So y'all know nothing about the specifics? It's magic. Oh, we know the specifics. We want to make sure you know the specifics. Yeah, what he said. Oh, do you really? Go ahead and roll a deception check. Jock or me? Doc, because he's the one that said the lie. Yeah, we know. Sure you do. Yeah, we uh, do. All right. It would help if you gave us any information and you could. Please. I'll tell you as much as I can, but for the most part, my hands are tied. It's, it is a very powerful magic could item. Be. Listen, man, we're trying to solve a murder here. Get justice for this guy, um, Jock. And I appreciate that. I truly do. But can I... this is for powers higher than me. Can I take out my knife and intimidate him? Sure. Okay. <laughs> do Go I roll for it? Roll intimidation. Ooh. Listen here, you bastard. I, I 
I'm just trying to get whoa, paid. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, now we don't got to get violent not right now. You're going to tell us everything we, you know about this item, how valuable it is. Jinkies, well, we're trying to solve a murder here. this item? <laughs> tell me now, or I'm going to just... You're going to end up like Father Jacques. I like how she's immediately questioning how much could she sell it for. <laughs> fine, fine. Just, just put the dagger away. I'll tell you. Nice. All right. Didn't think y'all would be that threatening, but here goes. Always the shortest ones. It's a powerful relic. Holds a mag. Holds a magical flame from that we believe comes from the morning flame himself. Basically, a small piece of his heart. <laughs> Pretty much, whoever touches it will be infused with whatever magic is inside. And But, as far as specifics for what it does, that's all I know. How much is it worth? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> can I eat it? No! <laughs> I mean, you can try, but I wouldn't recommend it. Give you a bad case of heartburn, I can tell you that. He's used to it. How do you know? It's a Have you eaten it? He likes spicy food. It's an item with holy flames imbued into it. I just bring it extra spicy. It, Ethnic spicy. E extra spicy is one way to put it. <laughs> Mango habanero. <laughs> okay, look. If y'all find it, try not to touch it. You can't tell me what to Don't do. Don't you have it? No. I left it with Father Jacques. Uh-huh. But it wasn't okay. there. So y'all saw me hand it to him. It was in the bag. It wasn't the there? Was the bag was empty. So you're telling me... By the great flame. That, that we now have to find a magic relic? Because somebody... Killed a man for it? No one was supposed to know it was even here. Paladin, you were supposed to know you were here. It was there. You were here too. I'm the but one that brought it. Know. Yeah, but it was your job to take care of it. I was, was supposed that? to hand it to him. And now look. He was supposed to keep it safe. We got a dead papa. We got a dead dude that... <laughs> Shut up. I don't know what that word means. I don't, <laughs> no, know, I don't speak Elvish. Oh no, he's dead. Y'all from Crescentville? <laughs> where have I, I heard that word before? Where have I heard that name before? Hmm. I have to look into it. Uh, but that does sound familiar. So who Anyways. else would want I mean, no one else was supposed to know about it even existing, so, uh, at this point, any sort of secret society. At least as far as I can guess. Did you see anyone suspicious following you? I just got here today. I didn't see anyone. And you didn't notice anyone following you while you were, you dropped off the, um, precious cargo? I didn't but see did anyone. I? But according to well, those letters, uh, they must have known about my arrival before I even showed up. Is he telling the whole truth? Would you like to incite him? Yeah. As far as you can tell, he seems to be telling the truth. But you think, Cred, you think this guy's telling the truth? As far as I can tell. I can cut him up if you want. Look, I'm trying to be honest here. I'm telling y'all I know. I didn't see nobody. Best I can no. guess is somebody knew I was coming. And no I one mean... was supposed to know I was coming besides Father Shock. Yeah, you knew you were coming. <laughs> I thought I was the one coming. <laughs> oh, Lord. That one ain't so bright, ain't he? Neither are you. 
Now hold on there. Stop <laughs> pointing fingers and throwing insults. I... He pulls his finger back. <laughs> yeah, because that's the word mom. It's not gonna get us anywhere, first of all. Now, tell me, Paladin Dance, if this item went into the wrong hands, what would happen? I'm not entirely sure, but uh, seeing as it, how powerful it is, nothing good. Yes, just like the knife. I thought no. as much. Look, if this gets into the wrong hands and the wrong person touches it, it will have a lot more problems than just your little knife. Hey, don't call my knife small. You don't put the dagger on me. It's how you use it. I'm sure it's how you use it. I'm saying, despite how you use it, it's still going to be a bigger problem. Just like your mom. We don't talk about that here. <laughs> she has her own issues, and I don't want to get into it. Pull out my rapier, like, how about now? That's impressive. You should see my great sword I keep back in the back at the church. Well, you don't have it, do you? Looks no, like I was supposed to come as a civilian. Ever. Everyone, please. <laughs> I'm gonna be the one who starts throwing books next. Stop! Oh it's okay, what's our next plan? First of all, have I heard anything of this, like, through religious texts or anything? Well, what kind of role would that be? Religion. That's a good one. Hmm. It is a good one. And he did mention criminal gangs. He mentioned secret society, if anything. Yeah. Um, they... no. You, you would have heard of powerful artifacts being in every religion, but um, nothing specifically imbued with a god's magic. You don't know what could happen if someone gets that power. Can I have heard of such a relic due to its um, rarity and how valuable it is? Roll me um, either a history or a persuasion check. Who? I'll uh, do nothing. persuasion. I'll do persuasion. Mm hmm You've heard vague whispers from very few individuals in the darker circles um, mentioning some sort of um, grand prize. Ooh. Maybe it's the same thing. I think we should go talk about if anyone's seen suspicious gangs and what. And look for this relic. And see if I can sell it. I mean, we could give it back. Yeah. That's all he knows. That's all he knows. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you win this round, you dumb, hot. Knock idiot. day. <laughs> we will see you around. I'm keeping an eye on you, though. And that fine. Baker, you got back. That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> yeah. I need I'm an adult. <laughs> um, Sam, are you okay? Yeah, no, I was just cut off for a second. Oh, okay. Uh, he would have said, Why do I feel complimented and insulted at the same time? Because you are being complimented and insulted. Okay, we're leaving now. Goodbye. Thank you. And please, if you find anything, let me know. Maybe we will. Maybe we will. You'll find me either here 
in the church of the of helping out I guess Father Jean uh, and or just around town trying to help set up for the festival we'll find you please do and oh you might want to go check on Father John he passed out oh yeah you know that man did seem kind of skittish when he ran up to me uh yeah I'll go check on him right now thank you for letting me know make sure you help him clean the office <clears throat> what's wrong with the office nothing, don't worry about it nothing absolutely nothing uh alright uh please don't tell me y'all made a mess nope I like, didn't make a mess. It was like that when we got there. I'm rolling a d20 real quick. Uh, uh, all right. So long as you're, so long as it was like that, I guess. Yep. Oh, I can only imagine. Shakes head no. <laughs> he doesn't notice. Okay, so you all make your way out of his room. Uh, and he comes out as well, locks the door behind him. And as you all leave the missing sure. wheel, uh, you head your separate ways. You do see him walking towards the direction of the church. What would you all like to do? He he did men mention some gangs around, right? The local gang? Secret society. I was about to say, he Secret was just society. spitballing. There well, there has to be. Go on. Sorry. If anyone were to know, it'd be some sort of secret society of some sort. Or um, some top of the line criminal organization or gang. I think we should speak to this criminal gang because they have apparent eyes everywhere. I if we can figure out who they are. And in order to do that, we have to be tactful with who we ask and how we ask. Well, thank God. <laughs> Hey, are y'all a criminal? I like to speak to criminals. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what criminals taste like. There were footsteps <laughs> going out to the woods. It kind of tastes like church. pork, except the flesh is a little longer. What? Um, the, the joke is that human meat is sometimes called long pork. Mm, gross. Yep. Strange meat. Strange meat. <laughs> That's what it is in Fallout. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, I remember. All right, we go. All right. Um, to, to the woods. Well, I ask. Or I inform them. We're going to the woods. That when I went by, out through by the church, there's where I first found that note. There are footsteps leading out to the woods. We should probably follow those carefully. Yeah, Octod. What did I do? I've been careful this whole time. Big ol' cobalt footsteps. Stomp. I am like three feet tall. Be nice. <laughs> Is everyone good on health right now also? Like, should we take uh, a short rest? I've taken one damage. I have five out of nine health. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm good, but I guess we can take a short rest. All right, you all find, um, if you'd like to take a short rest, there are a couple things you can do. You could um, go shopping for a little bit, hang out at some sort of uh, small uh, food stand that's around or restaurant or tavern. Find someone selling thieves tools. I should yeah. lay in the sun on a nice hot rock. I want to replace that lockpick ASAP. Um, yes. Akhtar, roll me an insight check. Insight, insight, where are you? There you are. God damn, my rolls today are so bad. <laughs> you find a nice big rock in the center of town. Very nice, very warm, very sunny. Nice. I wish to go yeah. bask on the rock. Mm -hmm. What's the catch? Uh, does anyone follow him to see where he 
lays. Nah, he's good. Okay. Uh, so nobody knows that he's laying down on the fountain in the middle of town. Um, <laughs> so there are a couple um, small general stores and shops that you can go to to replace um, locksmithing equipment, if you would like. Or get some basic materials, pick up some rations if you would need. They could also use a lockpick set. There's, uh, yeah. Gerald General Goods. Gerald's General, General Goods. Goods. <laughs> uh, J, good sir, good sir. Jow are you, Jer? No. <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you stopped that, first of all. <laughs> and, uh, thank you for knowing my ear, Le Lena. Or, ma'am, I for I don't know your name yet. <laughs> Ignore me. He has information he should question him. <laughs> hey, this is just That's a fourth good. wall breaker right here. Ignore my knowledge of the fourth wall. I'm not important, I'm just Gerald. You hot stuff. Tears of joy. <laughs> so, uh, so. what can I interest you all in? Yeah, Alina, what can you, what are you interested in? Nudge, nudge. <laughs> Show him the broken lock pick. Ah, y'all, uh, locksmiths or something? Yep. Yeah, that's it. Cool, cool. Uh, so you y'all want a replacement, or do you want a whole new set? Do you have something similar? To. Mm. I I do have a whole set. Hey. I could use a set. All right. Well, it's it's not your money, Ren. It's Elena's. I have my own money. You're going to buy me a set when you don't own me one? I'm going to buy me a set oh, as someone okay. who's proficient and doesn't carry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so, let me change the music quick. Hold on. Mr. Um, what was his name? Gerald? Jared. Jared? Gerald? Was it Gerald's, Jared or Gerald? Gerald's General Goods. <laughs> Gerald Maya. Jeremiah's General Goods Store. Jebediah? <laughs> Jebediah General Goods. And the son. What oh. can I do for y'all? <laughs> do you sell these tools often? Uh, I do every now and then. It, we don't get many locksmiths here, but uh, people, folk do travel around. Uh, they do end up needing different supplies. Depending on who they are. So it's no problem figuring out who needs what. Did you see any important question? How much gold am I supposed to have? Um depends Sorry, on, Dusk. Depends on your starting equipment. You you did do your starting equipment, right? Yeah. Okay, so your starting equipment should have come with some uh, with some, uh, some gold in a pouch. It should be in your inventory section. Mine didn't. Um, that's concerning. Are we all broke? I'm not. I don't have any money. You're over there resting. I know. I'm just it saying. was either gold or equipment. Oh yeah, that's right. If you do equipment, there should be of uh, your background should give you some gold. Sorry. Should be in your. Inventory? I have... Oh. And 
you have zero gold. <laughs> nice. I mean I live comfortably which mentions two gold, but otherwise there's nothing in my inventory. You pay for a living. I'm <laughs> um, just taking your studying equipment real quick. Um, oh, okay, you, you actually don't start with any gold. Um, I'll say you each start with like 50 gold pieces. Just to start with something. I have a silver coin. You do. That costs one silver. Oh yeah, I have a silver coin too. <laughs> yeah, I see that in other possessions. Just a silver coin. I don't know why it's not a silver piece. But eh. We're all just randomly picking up silver coins. <laughs> hey, it's a coin. Yeah, could be anything. But yeah, you can all start with uh, 50 additional gold. Additional? Yes, because I know you had gold already. Yeah. And, uh, and add the one SP for the coin. Yeah. And just take it out of your other possessions if you want. Gotcha. So, uh, how many, uh, locksmithing kits do y'all need? Two. Two? Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, two. You bind them together or are you bind them separate? No, we each other well enough to bind them together. So, break out oh. that wallet. <laughs> All right. Well, together, uh, that'll run you uh, fifty gold. Is it worth that much to you? How often do you sell them? Uh, each like one's usually worth twenty-five golds. But could you do two for one? Couldn't do two for one. That'd be Man. quite the discount, if I'm being honest. Charm him. Hmm. Can I talk to him? Can I can I talk to him and tell him like I'm standing right here. Not you shut up. Not you. I'm talking to God. <laughs> yes, Sorry, my God. child. <laughs> <laughs> Can I, like, persuade him to discount me? He's right there. You can t always talk to him. God, are you there? <clears throat> I think oh, oh no. God, God is gone. God, no. Oh, man. Wait, what? Her headset. So apparently my mic was still working, but it wasn't catching on Discord. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. God disconnected. It was weird. Yeah, the chat. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird. So yeah, you can talk to him. He's okay. standing right there. I mean, yeah, but I wanted to run it through you. Yeah, you can always talk to somebody this. All right, I'm gonna break. <laughs> I'm gonna break out the old dust charm, sure. or not the charm, <laughs> and convince him to give me a discount, please. I would like to assist with that. Um, is there anything specific you say, or are you just kind of like? Kind of asking for a discount. Do you give discounts to cute, um, little purple haired dudes right here? Or nice silver haired chicks like me? Yeah, no, please. I'm or just going for a persuasion with a proficiency bonus of plus two. 
Roll persuasion. Does it add the plus two automatically? It does. It, it adds it your your ability bonus and then your proficiency bonus if you're trained in the skill. It just says plus five. It doesn't say like plus seven. Um, because it's your charisma, which I assume is plus three, and your proficiency, which is plus two. Oh, that's how it's doing it. Okay. Yep. Let's see. Oh, uh, hold, hold on a second. Aren't you all the ones who uh, saved that uh, the tavern? Yes, we are. Oh. Well, uh, didn't know I was working with the heroes. Uh, well, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't. I uh, can't do two for one. But um. Uh, uh, look, I can. I can sell you one for half off. Good enough for me. So that'll run you, uh, I'll run down, uh, 37 gold. Nice. Okay, lean out over. Ren, pay the man. I guess I do have most, the most money out of everybody. Do you make that known? <laughs> no, that was in my head. Okay. Because I'm just saying, note that you also have 50 gold. I have 50 gold? I, I said everyone gains 50 gold. Oh. You I'm said everyone gold. gains 50 on top of what they had. On top of what they had, which most people had zero. Nice. Most. I'm cheap. I, I said most. Yep. Like 80% of the party had zero gold. The man is paid. All right. I'm not buying my own. Technically, Nocte has more if she sold the gems. <laughs> she put them back. Cool. She put them back. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you for doing business. Oh, gotcha. Uh, is there anything else I can interest y'all in? Maybe some uh, rations, uh, some rope, grappling hook. Information, if you have any. I'm uh, basically a grappling hook if I pull a rope up somewhere. That's quite fair. Uh, and, yeah, what kind of information can I offer you? Have you seen any suspicious characters lurking about? Uh, that might buy these tools. Yeah. I mean, to find suspicious, we get a bunch of people traveling through here every now and then. How many suspicious people do you get? I mean, we get all sorts of folk from all around the duchy. Uh, Are... we... It's all manners of folk. I try not to judge. I, of course, can't help my biases, but uh, I'll work on it. Are I mean, suspicious? they're probably, like, hooded, light-armored, carry rapiers. Maybe asking questions about magical items or rumors. Like all of you? Yeah. Hey, uh... You're, you're I'm... basically just describing your average adventurers, I'm just saying. Me, 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 me. Uh, hey, I'm not hey, saying hey. or not. <laughs> Before us. This is a mockery. <laughs> you are you are legitimately mockery, mocking me. And you're mocking the name J. You're right, uh, What no. your name? No, Jay. My Please. name is Gerald. Jebediah. It's on the store, <laughs> sir. It's Jebediah. <laughs> no, it's, it's Gerald. Well, I. That's name sus. So, have you seen? I was not? sus. My mother gave it to me. Your mom sus. Anyways. You take that back. No, nope, you know please. I'll fight you. No, we will not fight. I Mr. got weapons Chicken. in the shop. I'll fight you first. <laughs> let's go. All right, let's go. I'm, I'm gonna walk out of this store right now. He reaches. I'm leaving. Too. He reaches below the cabinet and pulls out a great sword. Oh Jesus Christ! Which is like five times the size of your dagger. Yeah. Swing a great sword over a counter. Yeah. He picks it up with one hand. Smallest space. Oh God. Uh, it's like uh, underneath the the long way. He pulls can it. Can I can I scare long him? Long way. Sure. You can try. All right. Do I roll for intimidation? Mm-hmm. He's also gonna roll for intimidation. Oh Christ! I've run the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> nah, you won. 
<laughs> so, so, one. so he he pulls it's like out Weenie Hut versus Super Weenie Hut. <laughs> He pulls out the great sword, and before he can slam it onto the counter, he uh, hits the tip of it on the bottom of the of the counter, and it slips out of his hand. It goes on his foot, and he's like, "Ah, ah, oh, fuck my my toes." Can I take my gold neck off the counter? Um, <laughs> roll sleight of hand. While he's doing that, roll sleight of hand. <laughs> While they do this, can I go find a tree to perch in? <laughs> Yes to both of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's poor <man. laughs> Alright, we're off. Let's go. <laughs> hey, hey you get back. Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> poor Gerald. <laughs> That's what he gets. Questioning us and how we look. Judging us. How dare he? You described I mean, yourselves. <laughs> I mean, he was all right. Like armored and carry rapiers. <laughs> We're all hot. We check out the woods. Oh, first we need Octad. Yeah, we need to go back, Octad. Octad, boy, come here. Um, come here, a Link. <laughs> I can always fly up high and scout before. <laughs> you want me a <laughs> perception or a persuasion check? <laughs> me? Oh. Wh whoever wants to find Octad. I was waiting. <laughs> yes, persuasion. I'll do it. I, I said either perception or persuasion. Um, oh. So asking around, you all um, you all get told of a weird lizard that's sleeping on the fountain in the middle of town. Um, and Kay, you just fly up and you see a large red spot on the big fountain in the middle of town. Um, hey, what are you doing up there? Ju just out of reach of all the water that's spewing everywhere. I found our small kobold friend. What are you doing up there? I'm uh, I'm a bird. No, no, no. I, she's talking to Akdad, who is sleeping. Oh, I know. <laughs> and sunbathing. Holy shit, that's a bad Very storm cool. outside. Uh oh. That's not oh, good. Oh no. Just having a nap. It's he, time to head out. He's doing a sleep. Well, where we go? Just get your ass down here. It's time to go. <laughs> well, I never got my ham. Can't well, we can't him. go back to Gerald's oh, because they around. cause problems. <laughs> Bit disappointed I didn't get to look at his weapons. I mean, you did. It was a great sword. You saw sword. a great sword. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was a general store, not a weapons store. Not specifically, no. One weapon. <laughs> it wasn't worth it. Not with, I, bad, bad. Well, technically you saw three weapons. Left, right, and great sword. <laughs> I mean, you also didn't do anything wrong. Uh -huh. Okay. I still well, want to find a good weapon eventually. Well, it's still early. We're only level one, so. Yeah, and there are a couple other shops as well. Uh, armories, weapon shops, um, a small shop selling magical little a little a small stall selling magical little trinkets. Uh, it seems to be run by kobolds, actually. Boo. Ooh. Well, since I've been told to get down from the fountain because we have things to do, I get down to the fountain because we have things to do. Don't trip right. on that water. You get down rocks. from the fountain because you have things to do. Roll me an acrobatics check. I'm going to do the <laughs> sickest flip. Roll higher than a five. God, I hope you get a three. Seven. All right. You, you start climbing down and you briefly slip. But uh, you're able to catch yourself and just plop yourself onto the edge of the fountain. I could have played adventure. Could have ended right there. That could have been bad. Uh, hmm. Careful, slippery when wet is a sign that you read at the bottom of the fountain, just underneath the water. This sign can't stop me because I can't read. Yes, you can. No, he can't. Okay, you cannot read. <laughs> it is canon. 
You can only read giant. You can't sp you can't speak it, but you can read it. <laughs> Good job, Doc. It's, it's canon now. Yep, I'm allowing it. <laughs> I actually don't know if you can speak giant. I cannot. Okay, you can only read giant. <laughs> Literature. You can't write it, and you can't speak it, but you can read it. Don't know why, he just can. <laughs> yep. God imbued him with a little bit of knowledge. Unfortunately, it was wrong. Alright, so where would you like to go now? We can wait for um, Alina to see if she can find a weapon, and we can just walk around and ask the shopkeepers for more information. Have yeah. they seen anyone? There is a weapon shop. I guess we're going over there. In fact, it's uh, there's one that you see called Wendy's Weapons and Wares. <laughs> oh, I want some Wendy's. Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, this Wendy's. is a Wendy's. Nuts getting in your mouth. Okay, oh. Hello. I hope they sell nuts. Uh, so you walk into the the you walk into the weapon shop. A little chime dingles, and you see um. A young human girl with um, two red pigtails. Um, Did you say a chime? A, yeah, a small chime. It's similar to that, but a lot less forceful. An iron pipe hanging from a door. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's an iron pipe just dung. <laughs> That's kind of now. Um, so you hear a large crash as you open the door. And as you close the door, you also hear a large crash when I play it again. Yeah, you hear that. Uh, and um, you see in at the counter uh, a young human girl with um, two red pigtails who looks over to you and just has freckles on her face. She just goes, oh, uh, hello. Uh, what are you... Uh, what can I interest you on? I'm Wendy. Don't you say the joke. Hey, Wendy. Don't <laughs> you dare. Kind of weapons do you sell? I sell <laughs> basic weapons that my personal blacksmith makes me. Do you have That's any enchanted frost weapons called... <laughs> just go ahead. Just go to Frosty. Thanks. Or her mace called fries. No. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna <laughs> lean against a wall and no. just cover my face. I don't have a mace called fries. I don't have a sword called a bopper. I don't have none of those. I just All right. sell Go ahead, Alina. weapons. How can I help you? Ma'am, you seem a little quiet. Does this mask get in the way, or um? Hey, don't touch my friend. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean anything. I just, I, I, I don't hear any responses. Oh, is she speaking? Um, oh, what's that language? Um, uh, Elvish hand symbols. Yeah, it takes a minute. Oh, I, I, I don't Called speak that. Does listen. any of you translate, perchance? Uh, you got any good weapons? <laughs> I got a few. That you can just look around the shop. I got um, everything from small daggers to large battle axes to the biggest great axes to the smallest um, light hammers. She get her hammer just for shits and giggles. Uh, well. What do you think, hey? Stop bothering the poor shopkeep. Um, if I can recommend something, I always love a trusty good spear. Um, not sure if any of you can make great use of it, but they're a personal favorite of mine. Octa, don't you like spears? Octa. I have a javelin, thank you. 
I mean, they're pretty similar. One's meant for mostly throwing, the other is um, versatile between the throwing and the melee. So, I'll take it if you give it for free. <laughs> I'm not selling them for free. Why not? Because we put effort and materials into making one. Maybe. Okay. These are master class weapons. That okay, so can. why would you want people to use them? Yeah, I let, do, let him but I'd like to get paid. What's your okay. blacksmith name? My blacksmith? What's He's it to nuts. you? Get out. Get out of my store. <laughs> you get out. Okay, see ya. I apologize for the children in my party. They're not your responsibility. I love, okay. I love the story. She's an adult. She should know better. I don't care. Get out! Just peeked your head in and closed the door again. God, I love that sound. Soothing. It's very soothing. It's good for the soul. So, um, any weapons I can interest in the uh, two of you? The three of you? Sorry. I walk around the store, oh. looking at any swords I can find. Okay. Um, you do see a few swords. You see some long swords, some rapiers. Um, you see a, um... An elven uh, double blade. It's pretty rare. Pretty rare to see one of those. Um, you do find some daggers, short swords. Um, anything specific you're looking for? Yeah, I still mostly... Most everything here. Um, there might be a couple re uh, personal requests that will need to be made, but um. Anything katana like? Katana, katana. Um, that's one of those northern swords, right? Hmm. Those guys from Hammerfell, the curved swords. That's what they're from, right? Hammerfell curved swords. <laughs> Sword. I don't recognize a hammer fell. Uh, but, um... That hammer fell on the floor earlier. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> hmm. Let me ask my blacksmith real quick. Hold on, I'll be right back. And you see as she walks into the back room and speaks to someone with a uh, kind of deeper voice. Um... Don't really hear any specifics, but um, you do see as Wendy makes her way back, along with a um, a tall and muscular um, minotaur woman um, who just looks at all of you and just goes, I look at her, <clears throat> and she looks at you. <laughs> me uh, and you and you and me. Me and you and your best friend, Steve. So, who is looking for Katana? <coughs> is it you, little fairy? I don't know if I could carry that. Ah, I'm sure you best. can carry anything you want. Just tell me. Raise hands slightly as I approach respectfully. Hmm. Approaches respectfully. What makes you think you can use katana properly? She eyes you up and down, almost, um, inspecting your physique. What's the best physique for a katana? I ask her. Hmm. It depends. Different people need different physiques. This one... Hmm. Something is off about her. I'm not sure what it is. Tell me, what is, what is it about you that makes you special?
This one is a quiet one, isn't she? Um, uh, she, uh, she speaks with the hand symbols. Oh, she's like that. Oh, uh, do any of you know how to, uh, speak it for her? I only speak Fey. Uh, I'm just gonna say this for point of ease. Uh, anytime her daughter's not around, um, any of you can just translate for her. That's just gonna be the in-world explanation for the TTS. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Oh. So just any of you can be like, yeah, I'll translate. Or whatever. If Joy's not around. Because she's helping. Where her. is Joy? You don't know. The other smaller one. You know she's with Joy. Mm-hmm. <coughs> and the other smaller one. <coughs> Sorry. Choking on water and stuff. <coughs> Sam's turn. <laughs> what? Who? What? Oh, wait, I did already. Uh. I hope you're all having fun so far. I know they're not the lightest weapon, but I'm looking for something more fitting than my rapier. It just doesn't feel like the weapon for me. TTS might not read that. Okay. Hmm. Let me see your la- rapier. Removes it from holster scabbard and all. Uh, she grabs it, um, kind of expertly and pulls it out. Uh, how often do you use? She says, inspecting it closely. Masterfully, even. Um, while they're doing that, can I interest either of you, any of you, um, in another weapon of sorts? I think I'm well equipped for now. Okay. Same for me. What about you, little lizard? Oh, I'm sorry, um, that's not right. Um, um, you're kobold, right? It's a dragon. Yeah. What? Little lizard. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just... Uh, my family's old, fashioned, and I still... I'm still getting used to it. Mm. Anyway, she's helping me, though. With the way I portrayed her, I don't want anything. Good day to you, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm so... I'm so sorry. Yeah, come out play with me! <laughs> Thank you. I was looking for it. Um... Um, is there anything I could interest I've in? I've used it since my training, but I've been more prone to use my daggers for slicing more often. Hmm. Let me see your dagger, then. She puts your rapier back in the sheath as she lays it on the counter in front of you. Or in between you. By the way, this woman is... Huge. Her horns are just massive. Her muscles are bulging, and she has like 
soot stains all over her face and arms. And she is very muscly. Really? Like, <laughs> A link. <laughs> A link. Pulls yes. both out, making sure not to appear threatening, pulling the other out of the sole of my boot. She grabs them again and looks them over, um, giving her expert eye on them. Roll me a persuasion check with advantage. Wait, theater. She stabs both your daggers into the counter and walks into the back as Wendy just looks at what she's, uh, she's done and she goes, you, you can't keep doing that. It's just... <sighs> if you ever wonder what all these marks on the counter are, um, that's her. She does this so much. Oh my god. We're gonna have to replace the counter at this point. Oh my god. Oh, okay, okay. She'll be back in a moment. Um, and as she says that, you actually hear the, her loud, uh, the Minotaur's loud hooves um, stepping back into the room, holding a longer sheath, a bit curved, and a nice long handle for, let's say, about two hands, and places it on the counter between you. Try this. See if it works for you. As she lays down a katana. Blade of the North. Do you know if your friend is from the north? Is that why she's interested in something like this? Um, when you, you, you have you just have you not known each other for that long? Considering the first time we met was Hours, helping people out of a fire. Oh, that was you. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't... Thank you. Thank you so much. You actually saved my sister who was in there. Oh my god. I cannot thank you enough. Um, honey, um, they... we gotta help these. And the Minotaur doesn't really pay any mind to what Wendy... Doesn't seem to pay any mind to what Wendy tells her. She just stares at Alina inspectingly. Hey, do you have anything called these nuts? Get out! Knock day! <laughs> she is banned from my store. She is not allowed back in here. Carefully pull it out of the scabbard to get a good look at it, carefully feeling out the weight of it. Go ahead and make a practice shot with it as you, um, and roll an attack with your rapier. Hmm. I like this one. She is good. You say she is hero. You say you all hero. Uh, one moment, everyone. Marion, welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. Um, 
give me one moment. Um, let me just give a shout out real quick. Nyarion, hope you're having a good time. Uh, sorry, but we're in the middle of the evening session. I'm just gonna... Um, I like this one. You say she is hero. Hmm. I can see it. What else do you want? Come. Pick weapon. Can I talk to Wendy for a second? I'm right here. You guys ever move like big shipments of weapons? Um, not typically. We tend to just keep stock of what we make ourselves. Or what she makes. Uh, I tend to be the one who sells them the most. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. But, um, are, are you sure? She's, she seems serious. Uh, I think she really wants you to pick something out for yourselves. <laughs> not her, though. And what do, what do you recommend? Um... What are you good with? Something more finesse? Something ranged? Um, would you like... Do uh, you want a quarter staff? I know it's not forged, but do you have a crossbow? Um, what kind? Are you looking for light, heavy? Are you looking for a hand crossbow? Something small is probably best. So that would be either the light or hand crossbow. Um, have you used a hand crossbow before? No. No. Um, all right. I would suggest using the light crossbow then. As she um, turns around, pulls one of these uh, medium-sized crossbows off the wall behind her and places that on the counter. Um, go ahead and give that a little try. No bolts. But, um, go ahead and see how it feels for you. You back there. You pick oh, weapon. <laughs> you pick weapon. She points, uh, she talks to you, Kay, at the back. Uh, uh, pick weapon. Hmm. Let me see a javelin, please. Javelin? He's right next to you. Just gonna casually look over and grab one gently. <laughs> um. How feel? You like it? Feels nice. Yes. <laughs> the weight is good. Okay. Um, your little uh, uh, co kobold friend. Um, what's some, what what's something that he would like? Would I, you like me to stick my head out of the door and ask? I I would appreciate it, please. Just gonna casually open the door and stick my head out. Um, pipe, please. I'm looking for it. <laughs> Thank you. I was looking at what. I'm looking at his proficiencies. And I'm looking. I'm gonna try and locate Octod. You see Akhtar and Nokte just standing against the wall outside of the store. Kind of bored. Staring at the crowd. Akhtar. Hey. What? What kind of weapons do you like? What kind? 
Yes. Big, strong, hurty. Big. Okay. Thank you. I'm just gonna pop back inside the store. The small kobold says big, strong, hurdy weapons, whatever that means. Big, strong, hurdy. Mm. Martial weapon. Hey, do you know anything that would be big and strong? I mean, I'm big and strong. Yeah, I, I know weapon. Here, let me grab. Um, She pulls out a... A battle axe. No, I sorry. I'm a mall. A mall. Sorry, my indecisiveness. And lays it on the table. It's like the top hurdy weapon. He's good. I like. Okay. Take. They're yours. And you see Wendy have a look of surprise on her face and she just looks up there. No, what? No, we're supposed to be selling. These, they're hero. They're good. And she's perfect. Perfect. They take. I make new stuff. You stay here. You stay happy. Love you. You take. Well, I know Thank I'm you. Well you take care. No break. You come back for more weapon. But next time, you buy. Understood. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. <laughs> May the forge keep you strong. May the forge be with you. I knew that was going to come back to bite me. <laughs> this is the way. And if you all check your inventories, you should have the new items that uh, you just got. And Octod, you might have to put it onto your character sheet in World 20 because um, I have, I, I'm more comfortable with the Beyond one, so I added it there. You can just take a look at it and switch it over at your leisure. I don't think I oh. have. Uh, go ahead and refresh. Oh, I bet you that's it. Yeah. Aha! Um, bolts? Does it take bolts? Uh, it bolts. does take bolts. Hold on a second. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> Just turn back around. <laughs> uh, yeah, Wendy's just like, oh, um, yeah, hold on here. Um, she gets you a small, um, quiver of bolts for your crossbow. Uh, go ahead and press refresh. Okay. Yep. Yep. And that should do it. Enjoy. Alright, is there anything else anyone would like How to much would this katana have cost? I want to leave something at least. No. You take yeah. it. It's pleasure. I don't get many people who can... Do I trust with Kitana? You use. You stay safe. You come back. I'll recommend your shop and come back when I can. Just trust in Mara. 
Mara and Wendy, good people. I just really want to lean over and like, whisper to Ren, they're so cute. Right, and compared to that Gerald guy? Yeah. <laughs> I did nothing wrong! <laughs> I'm like five shops away! <laughs> yeah, you just hear it level. <laughs> Wait, if I, if I know where someone is, I can message them, right? Oh my god. Within 120 feet, yes. You know, far away is the story. Ah, uh, you gotta make me do math. Um, <laughs> I just say boo. It's 150 feet away. Oh, uh, okay. Damn. <laughs> yep. So, well, I think that's only for party members, though. <laughs> if I know where they are. Yeah. Assuming we're done here. It's time to deliver Octod his big, hurdy weapon. So I'll, I'll make carry. my way from the st I put my hands out. <laughs> oh, um, the door. I see you're done with your shopping. Wonderful. Akdod, we bring you a present. Despite your attitude, you were gifted something. What attitude? I've had no attitude. But thank you. Thank you. I'll thank them with a respectful bow and follow the others. I'm gonna assume you meant bow. Because TTS is dumb. And yes. And you exit out the door. <laughs> TTS do be dumb. It do be dumb. A respectful bow. You tie them a nice knot. <laughs> <laughs> the pretty ribbon. <laughs> pretty ribbon. Uh, okay. Um, so, where would you all like to go? Um, there's still that armor shop that you passed by, and there's also the, um, little stand of little magical curios and little minor magic items. Well, Nakta well, said she'd be waiting by the woods. Yeah, I... Dusk is, I think, Gone. away now. Yeah, so I think t we should stop here for today. Alright, that's fine. I mean, if I, I would like to do the, uh, the little magic stand, it's nothing really extreme. It's just a little more shopping. If you, if you would like, since I am a druid, shall we look at the magic stand? Since I am a fey, I agree. I have no relevance to this magic stand, but I will go. All right. Meet them in. You all walk up to the little stand um, with uh, a little blue tail flickering behind it. As um, and as you finally reach it, you see a small blue head of a kobold um, peer over just at the top, and she fixes her glasses and just looks at you like, "Oh, um, I'm so sorry. Um, you walk up to my." Penelope's magic shop. Uh, how can I help you? I look over the wares for anything of interest. Um, and I ask about the um, possible missing magic items if they've seen anything. Um, I don't have anything missing, I don't believe. Um, Fentris, do we have anything missing in the logs? Um, you see a small, uh, pseudo-dragon with a book. Um, just hold it open, uh, a lot wider than she is. Um, and just looking through it, before closing it, uh, dropping it, uh, and just flying in the air above and behind the stand. Going, nope, 
Um, we have everything here. All right. Um, yeah, no, we have about just about everything. Uh, we do have a bunch of different knickknacks. We do have um, uh, pouch of snacks. We do have a decanter of water, um, bag of holding. Um, I do have a portable hull. Um, uh, Heward's um, spice pouch. Um, actually, I do have a deal going on with the um, the snack pouch. If y'all are if you are interested. Pouch of snacks. Yeah, it's a pouch of snacks. It's a uh, bottom of snacks. Uh, she reaches in and pulls out uh, a random snack. Um, let me see which snack actually. All right, uh, five. One second. I, I actually have this item. Um, and she pulls out. Some butter toes. Toes? Butter toes? Uh, imagine butter fingers, but like little square versions oh. of them. Oh. I thought you meant toast, and then I'm like. No, no, toes. They're like shaped like goblin toes. They're I like thought you meant toes. actual toes. No, no, no. These no. are just snacks, not. They're DD themed. They're Kroger brand butter yeah. toes. Yeah, this gives you a random snack every time you reach in. Uh, they're very delicious and always fresh. And they never run out. Um, I know someone would be interested. I was about to say, would that not keep our... Would that not keep Octod interested? Octod? Um, who's... Oh, another kobold! I haven't seen many other kobolds around here. I'm Penelope. Um, welcome. It's nice to meet you. Hello. She's a nice light blue scaled kobold. Almost, almost as blue as me. Yeah. But I'm also red. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and um, if I haven't introduced you. This is my familiar, Fenthris. Uh, she's a pseudo dragon, and uh, she's my lovely assistant. I couldn't do it all this without her. Hello. I would like to. I would like to pet the cat. I'm a dragon. I I know what I said. I. You'll have to pardon him. She. She um. She puts her paws against her hips. Which, um, she's very noodly, so it's, they're like way above her hips, because her arms are smaller than her body. And she just humps, humps away from you. What? I asked permission. He called me your cat. I'm just gonna gently pat Dot on the head. Just wanted to pet the cat. Not I, I know. It's not making the situation. The only thing we have in common is fur. It's, it's a little. This furry is a sassy cat. Guy. I'm. Penny, can I bite him? No. You, you know what happened last time you did that? Hmm. She just sinks below the um, the car, uh, the stand. And you kind of hear, like, a door slam. Oh boy. At this rate, some of us won't be able to go anywhere. Um, I don't no. see the problem. I asked permission to pet it. She's really finicky about it. Plus, she's not actually a cat. Um, she's a pseudo-dragon. If not cat, why cat-like? She's from the east. She tends to be a little more cat-like than most dragons, but that's just her biology. She's still 100% all dragon. Just like the two of us. That's a weird cat. <laughs> yes, she is. Is it safe like, to call them cute? You? She's adorable. She just doesn't like being called a cat. Or, you know, anything that's not a dragon. Fair. Fair enough. 
Knock that, you need the snack pouch. Snack pouch? I would always take a snack pouch. Yeah, it's infinite pouch snacks. Of bottomless snacks. Every time you grab one, it's a random. Snacks. Yeah, she reaches in and pulls out another snack. And this time it is a 12. Uh, you can't even pull a 12. She pulls out a little um, bread cracker stick with uh, chocolate on the end of it. Uh, oh, a cobalt tail. Hum. What do you mean, cobalt tail? It, it, it's a little. Can't eat those. No, no, it's it's the <laughs> snack called the cobalt tail. Start sweating. It's a little like bread cracker with uh, like dip in chocolate. It's really good. Here, I'll pull out another one. Uh, um, she pulls out a what's the twenty sixteen. Uh, ooh, an owl bear claw. And she offers you the owl bear claw. He won. He just inhales. Oh. It tastes like a donut, but also like a bear claw. Mm. I like this. Yeah. I need the snack pouch. I have a deal going on for you right now, actually. Um, would you be interested in it? I'll take it for free. If it, uh, I Ding. can't Ding. do it for free. What's um, the deal? <laughs> what, what's the deal? Buy gold. Buy gold. It, these are minor magic items. They're not supposed to be all that powerful. Plus, these aren't snacks. They're not supposed to, like, sustain you. They can. I definitely lived off of those for a couple days. Um, don't tell my mom I, t I said that. Um, but yeah, they, you can totally uh, live off of these for at least a while. I don't recommend it. If you, won't, if you won't give it for free, I'll buy it for nothing. I will gladly buy the snack pouch for Octod. Hold on, hold on. What if, say. You took me to dinner. Oh my god. Brynn! Yeah. Mm. Your, choice, mm. your choice of where we eat. This is the cutest thing I've ever fucking seen. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure there's something. <laughs> Taco Bell. Yes. Ah. Bac Hotel. Bac Hotel. I'm sure I could find something out in the woods to cook and eat. I'd be all right with that. So, do we have a right. do we have a date? Or For the price of get... nothing, I will take it. It's a date. She hands you the snack pouch. Go ahead and add magical snack pouch to your inventory. Uh, you. For the purpose of the snack pouch, um, every snack works like Goodberry essentially, so it works like for a day of rations and heals you one HP. Uh, you can spend, you can spend an action to pull out one random snack, roll one d twenty, and um, and yeah, that's the snack pouch. You can do this as many times as you want per day. I have snacks. Yeah. And technically unlimited healing, but it's one HP each time. It's very oh, slow, but it's something. Very slow. You just gotta go through the snacks. All right. I'll see you later, um, Akhtar. Okay. I will figure out. I'll have to find what's out there. I'll see. I'll be with that later. I look forward to it. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. I will laugh if he pulls out an actual finger randomly. You don't know Cobalt. Well, he needs. Uh, you don't know Cobalt co uh, culture. She might be into it. Well, I guess I will head to the Fair. woods to meet Milk Day. All right. Anything else anyone else would like to do? I'm 
reading up on other items. Okay. It's um, just very minor items along those lines. The most useful thing she would have is the bag of holding or the portable hole. But those would be a little more pricey. We could always come back. Yeah, we could always come back. Yeah, I'll be here yeah. for the festival at least. Um, I have, I do plan to stay a couple of days afterwards as well. Um, so, if you're still in town, just swing by. I'll be here. And who knows, maybe we'll see each other on the road sometime. <laughs> All right. All right. And with that, you go meet up with Nook Day by the woods. Uh, it seems like she had already found the, the footsteps, and you are all ready to head into the woods next time on Adventures in Ferris. Ayo. <laughs> Yay. Name drop. Let's go. Name <laughs> oh. drop. Pipe drop. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, thank you everyone for stopping by, sticking through the session, uh, and thank you, thank you guys for playing. I, I really appreciate it. Would you, do any of you have anything you would like to shout out, or if you would just like to shout out yourselves? I didn't expect to be getting on a date. Neither did I. <laughs> Neither did I, to be honest. It was not planned. Now you gotta go to Taco Bell. <laughs> Baco Bell. Baco Tell. Baco Tell. Baco Tell. Well, once again, I'm Coda. And I stream on Twitch. And I've been playing Earthbound. Earthbound. I'm Doc. I stream on Twitch, and I've been playing New Super Mario Bros. Classic. It is a classic. It's underappreciated. Oh, that ticket got wrong. I'd I'm probably like a thousand percent in that game. I wish I wish I had a magical snack pouch right now. Please go get food after stream. Yes. I please. ate dinner and I ate lunch, so I I'm just hungry. I had snacks too. Oh. Karen, would you like to oh. um, shout yourself out? I think Hi. Excited. I'm Karen. I'm literally just an artist at this point. So, until I get a new computer anyway, so. We still love you. Either way. Support your local artists. Yeah. They're starving. Help. I, I'm not starving, but my computer is dying. The computer is dying. Help. She's so it's, hungry. It's 12 years old. <laughs> She's old. Oh no. The poor thing. The thing's on life support. You unplug it once and it's gone. I had a laptop that survived five years. My laptop only survives one day. <laughs> oh, yeah, mine is usually around four years. And I... Mordred, I hope you're typing yours out. Not to rush you or anything, oh. just a... Hey, I saw her duck something. Yeah. Hey. Mm. I just have the urge to draw K, like, trying to, like, pick up and throw Octon. <laughs> Why not just smack it up with a book? <laughs> well, that was an okay. Oh, that's great. And I'm sorry that um, there wasn't really any combat this time, but I hope you no, all enjoyed fine. the whole play. It's a, sometimes you gotta bounce it. You can't do combat every time. You gotta yeah, mix it up. You needed the acting practice. You mix it up, you mix some puzzles, you mix some uh, RPG, just talking, You got then you put to combat. There's a bunch of things. You, it's, you know, it's not always just combat. Yeah. That's something you, you kind of learn as you go. 
you make a random general store and a NPC named Gerald suffer through the party's interactions. You get you get banned in half the IRS's. Or, I didn't I meant to say IKEA's, but I guess we're getting we're avoiding <laughs> taxes now too. I just gotta say, all those shops except the last one were all um, on the spot. That's yep. That's how it be. I've well, got a. I've got a, uh, I've got a bit going on in my campaign where the shop keep, keeps changing. The first it was Beetle from uh, Legend of Zelda, and then it changed to Anna from Fire Emblem. Yeah, oh, that's cool. So I keep changing it, and Anna was in a shop in a Sephora. Sephora. So, I, yeah, I just keep changing it. It's just a good bit, but that's that's because of the nature of my campaign. I can do that. That's fair. Mordred, are you ready? Give me a shout out. Alright everyone, I'll see you guys who are interested tomorrow with this week's content on Destiny 2. Also for Docs, next it's Oraheim from Bleach JKJK. <laughs> Wait, what? Oraheim? No, no, I heard. I, I see. Wait, what? I just did. For docs next time, it's. Oh, wait, what? I just. What do you mean? I'm assuming for like the shopkeep. Oh. Oh. A link. Give me snakes. <laughs> All right, and for those of you who still don't know, I'm Sammy. I'm your variety of YouTubing cat. And I'm your GM for this lovely little campaign that I am mostly making up as I go. And by mostly, I mean it is all homebrew. So it is all made up. Welcome Can to the It's not real. Campaign's not real. It's over, man. It's over. Campaign was a lie. <laughs> Just like we the fridge. We never actually played D. Well, uh, while we're while we're out here, would you like to hear some of the snacks that are on the list? Yes. They are one through twenty. Go ahead and pick a random number. Seven. Seven. Ooze seven. Pe ooze pellets. Oh, they're jelly Six. beans. Six. Uh, is yeah. No. Beholder biscuit. <laughs> I spent. I stayed up. Good. Till, I'm not the only one. I stayed up till 3 a.m. coming up with these, by the way. Because <laughs> it sounds fun. Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen. Sixteen is owl bear claws. Oh, okay. Yeah. Seventeen. <laughs> Goblin stoppers. Goblins. Are any of them bad? I'm sorry. Are any of them bad? One. Nat 20. Nat 20? Worm scales. Worm, W-Y-R-M. Oh. Is one bad? They're skittles. One is bad. Boo. What is one? Cheesy one. nachos. Cheesy nachos? Nachos. N-O-T-C-H-O-S. Knocked. Not chose. Not chose. I'm scared. Why does that make them bad? How bad? They're cheesy not chos. What's that mean? It's what are like they're not, chos? They're uh, not nachos. It's not pizza. Oh no, it's vegan. Oh no, no it's, it, it's not nachos. <laughs> they're cheesy not nachos. That's the joke. Not nachos? That's the only <laughs> quote unquote bad one. Well, what's okay. two if that's one? Toasted seedlings. Okay. And Bad it's... because the pun. Yep. Basically. <laughs> okay, well, then what's second best? What's 19? Plain cake. Oh. Like the material plane, okay. but it's a pancake. Now I just want breakfast food. I want an omelet. Okay, I can I go down the list actually if you want to hear the rest. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, starting at three, we have Underdark Chocolate, 
Ooh, I like that. We have Boo. Cheese scales. Doritos. Oh. Uh, we have Butter Toes, Beholder Biscuits, Ooze Pellets, Urza Gelatinous. Jelly? Gummy, be gummy Bears. Uh, oh, Urza. Okay, yeah. Urza Gelatinous. Um, black Chocolate Pudding. Spriggan Twigs. AKA Licorice. <laughs> Twizzlers. Oh, Twizzlers. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, gaseous Cheese. Oh, God. Cheese puffs. Uh, oh. Um, cobalt tails, basically um, a pocky Pocky, stick. pocky yeah. Um, pixie dust. Literally pixie dust the candy. It's pixie dust. <laughs> um, box of mini chocolates. Um, Kasha's laughing truffle. <laughs> uh, owl bear claws. Goblin Stoppers, Draconic Brownie, Ooh. and then Plain Cake and Worm Scales, which is Skittles draconic, again. The Draconic, the, that Draconic Brownie so good, it'll send you to another plane, man. It do, and then you could cover it in Worm Scales. Oh no, it's good thing you clarified, you know, a, the other kind of worm. Yes. Not w that. Why right. RM? Yeah, not that regular worms have scales, but... I mean, purple worms do. Uh... Yamero? Yeah, the purple worm. Do, do you not... If the dice somehow not lands on a number, you get pulled in. If it somehow... If it somehow lands on a side, you become the snack. <laughs> it Majin boos you. Some of us are already there. Yeah. Oh, you are a snack. That's good. That's good, no. She's not here. She abandoned us. How dare she? But yeah, I do have the actual magic item in in Beyond. It's a not, link. It's not public yet because there are some secrets to it. But the yeah. Munch. I hope you all enjoy. Hope you all had fun. I had fun coming up with these names last night. It was great. When I stumbled upon Box of Many Chocolates, I was so pleased with myself. Hells yeah, so much fun. Yeah. And I hope to see you all next time. Yeah. Yep. Hopefully I can actually prepare more before Wednesday or Tuesday. Yeah. It happens. Yeah. All right. Have a good night, everyone. All right. Goodbye. Bye. 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 You too.